Where is everyone? I thought I'd find Paradigm here today. And Spidey. I hope they're okay. Where did everyone go? This is getting a little strange. Maybe I should call Spidey and ask. Oh, but maybe he'll think that was weird. Wait a second. Why would it be weird? We work together. We're saving the world together. So, why am I nervous to call him? Oh no. I've got feels for Spidey. Gwen, you were late for briefing this morning. I'm sorry, I went to the old HQ. I didn't realize we had an airship now. You didn't get my text? No. Oh, well, I must have forgotten. Anyway, Spidey, Gwen, your orders are to retrieve intel on the fortress at the beach. Get down there at 20 hundred hours. So, we've got the whole day to prepare. You do. Perhaps you can stay with me here for a while, Peter. We can discuss some further details of your mission. Actually, I was thinking of getting some brunch. What do you say, Gwen? Huh? Oh, yeah, that sounds great. I'm starving. <sighs> well, all right then. Be at the fortress on time tonight. Yes, ma'am. You can both go. Bye, Paradigm. Bye, Peter. Paradigm seems to like you. You think? I hope so. I'm trying to do a good job. Yeah, she can't get enough of you. Huh? What do you mean? Oh, nothing. Well, I know a great place to get some ramen. You down? Sure, I haven't had ramen since I got here. This is great, Gwen. Being superheroes again? I know. I was going crazy here. I thought nothing interesting would happen. You live for the action, huh, Gwen? And I stay for the company. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, what do you mean? Oh, I mean, uh, the island. It's just so full of colorful and crazy characters. Am I right? Too right. I'm gonna get a slurp. You want anything else? No, no, I'm okay. Thanks. Jeez, what are you doing? You might as well have said you're in love with him. Maybe I should just tell him I've been thinking about him. Break the ice. Huh. Spider-Man? Hello there. I don't believe we've met. I'm Tywin. Oh, nice to finally meet you. Paradigm told me all about you. And your partner, Lennox Rose. I'm Spidey. Great to finally put a face to the name. Hi, I'm Gwen. Hi, Gwen. Oh, I'm not interrupting anything, am I? Not at all. We were just having some food before we do a stakeout tonight. Oh, nice. I can't wait to hear about that. Maybe you can find me at the base sometime and tell me about it? Yeah, I bet you've got some cool stories too. I sure do. I'll tell you all about them. Well, I just thought I'd say hi. Gotta get going. Later, you two. Well, aren't you Mr. Popular? Huh? Tywin. She seems to like you too. You think? I don't know. I didn't get that. You didn't? Oh, well, maybe I was wrong then. So, uh, listen, we've got the whole day before our mission tonight. Uh-huh. You think it's something you want to do? Well, you've been here a lot longer than me, and I still haven't seen much of the island. You want me to give you a tour of some cool stuff? If you weren't doing anything else, that is. Of course, I'd love to. Come on, I'll show you something you might like. Are you sure you don't mind hanging out? I don't want to take up your free time. Of course not, Gwen. I'm happy to hang out. 
Oh, well, good. You're gonna love this place. It's like an old retro arcade. Oh, one second, Gwen. Hello? Spidey, come back to the base. There's some mission details I'd like to discuss with you. Oh, sure. I'll be right there. Thanks, Peter. See you soon. I'm sorry, Gwen. That was Paradigm. She needs me to come back to the base. She needs to talk about the mission. Did she say she needs me there, too? Oh, uh, she didn't say. I won't be long. <sighs> well, it was worth a try. He's a pretty popular guy, that's for sure. I'm not surprised, either. He's strong, brave, heroic, handsome, and... Man, am I falling for him. <sighs> Must be nice to have so many people fawning over you. Or maybe not. Maybe he's like the guy in this game. Just minding his business, eating dots, and being chased around by colorful creepers. I have competition. I'm not the only one who has feelings for him. I have to tell him how I feel, before someone else does. Ugh. Hey, sorry. I hope you weren't too bored. Hey, you left me in an arcade. If I was bored, it's my own fault. Huh, <laughs> I guess you're right. So, you want to play the dancing games? I've been trying to beat Peely's score for months now. Let's give it a go. <laughs> you're pretty good at this. This is much easier than ballet, trust me. You do ballet? I thought it was obvious. Spider-Man and Spider-Gwen. Well, I didn't expect to find you two here. Hey, you're Lennox Rose, right? I've heard so much about you. Paradigm told me that you two have been put on a lot of missions together. Well, that's probably because we make a great team. Right, Gwen? Right. Oh, I see. Well, don't let me disturb you two. I'll leave you two alone. Oh, we're actually just killing time before a mission tonight. You want to hang out? Hmm. Maybe some other time. See you around, Tiger. See you around, Tiger? Yeah. Come on, Pete. You have to have picked up on that one. Oh, I did. Not interested? She's pretty cute. <laughs> nah, I'm good. But thanks for the confidence boost. Don't mention it. You've still got a lot of time. Let's beat that high score. <laughs> All right. Hope you brought your dancing shoes, tiger. Shut up. All right, we're on time. I'll let Paradigm know. Boss, we're in position. How's security looking? Kind of tight. Getting in the castle would be tricky. They built that castle to keep prying eyes off their plans. Infiltrate the base and find out what you can. What if we get caught? Don't. Good luck, Peter. Yeah, and Gwen too. Right, of course. Report back when you have news. Paradigm out. All right, our orders are to infiltrate the base, but I don't think Paradigm is aware of how many guards there are. Then we better be really quiet, or really deadly and quiet. Agreed. Don't engage unless we get spotted. You got it. Go. We have to get past him. Leave it to me. Been spotted! Take out the guards! We don't have much time. 
More are going to come. You need to get inside and find out what you can. I'll stand guard. All right. I won't be long. Hey, Pete. Don't die. I'll do my best. Ugh. Oh, I just want to squeeze him. Huh. That's strange. There's no one here. Paradigm is sure there would be someone in here. Huh. Gwen! Ugh, oh, there's a lot of them. They just keep coming. Hurry up, Pete. Ah! Are you alright? I'm fine. This was a setup! An ambush. They knew we were coming. We've gotta get out of here, Gwen! Go now! Was close. He almost got you. Almost. Thanks to you. Thank you, Pete. We'll mention it, Gwen. We're partners. Heck yeah, we are. We should get back to base. So, the mission was a failure? I'm afraid so, boss. Bites was nowhere to be found, and we got ambushed. How could this have happened? My intel was good. Hmm, I'll have to look into this. How could Bites have known about our plans? Spies, maybe? Possibly. I'll find out what I can. You two are dismissed. Thank you, boss. Well... She wasn't happy. Neither am I. The mission was a failure. Ugh. Hey, you want to grab a slurp? Sure, why not? Still, it was pretty cool how you did all those flips and socked that garden as Chrome Dome. Thank you. We couldn't have done it without your tactical skills. Spider-Man? With tactical skills? I don't think so, Gwen. What are you talking about? You were amazing out there. You think so? Absolutely. You're the amazing Spider-Man, after all. And you're the amazing Spider-Gwen. We make a good team. We sure do. You want another? Sure. All right, Gwen. Just be a big girl and tell him how you feel. You've spent the entire day with him. He clearly isn't interested in anyone else, and he saved your life. Hey. Hey. So, I wonder what Paradigm is going to get us to do tomorrow. Who knows? So, um, Pete, there's something I want to talk to you about. Oh yeah? What is it? Well, it's just, I've known you for a little while, right? And lately we've been working together on some pretty crazy superhero stuff. I never really knew you before, but now it's different. And this morning I woke up and everything felt strange. What do you mean? Well, this is gonna sound crazy, but I... Peter. MJ, what are you doing here? I heard you guys had a rough one today, so I thought I'd swing by and bring you pizza. What? Pizza? Aw, oh, MJ, you're the sweetest. Yeah, it was a rough one. We got ambushed. Oh no! Well, I'm so glad you're both safe. Hey, Gwen! Huh? Let me introduce you. This is my girlfriend, MJ. Nice to meet you, Gwen. Peter's told me a lot about you. It's nice to meet you, too. Tell MJ how you did, like, a triple backflip and then took that guard down. Ooh, that sounds cool. I, uh, I 
actually have to go. I'm sorry. Nice to meet you, and uh, see you tomorrow, Pete. Oh, well, all right. See you, Gwen. Good job today. Thanks. What was that about? I don't know. Of course. Of course! I had to fall in love with a guy who's already in a relationship. I should have known. Ugh, MJ. Perfect little MJ brought pizza. I wouldn't mind kicking her in her chrome dome. All right, Gwen. I know we've been hiking up here for a long time, but trust me, this is gonna be worth the wait. Whoa, this is unreal. Hey, welcome back. Don't forget to check out our new channel. The link's in the description. Don't forget to subscribe. Our first video comes out next week. So Spidey, this is readily amazing, but why did you bring me up here? Well, since the Chrome attacked, Paradigm and me have been working on a way to keep people safe. And so we came up with balloons. Balloons? Uh-huh, and we're here to test them out. Just like this. The balloons inflate and you lift up off the ground. Whoa, this is kind of weird. You'll get used to it. Come with me. With these balloons, we can stay off the ground and bring our attack to the chrome from the air. Pete, those wolves are gonna attack those little piggies. What? Where? Down there. Perfect opportunity to test out the balloons. <laughs> yeah, not bad, Gwen. Those little piggies will live to fight another day. Follow me, Gwen. Is that Peter? It's that girl, Gwen. What are they doing? A romantic balloon ride together? <sighs> I don't think so. This is really nice, Pete. I've always wanted to be able to fly. Yeah, me too. I'm just glad they work. You holding up okay? I think so. How long can we stay floating like this? When? Ah! Gwen, are you okay? Ah, uh, I think I broke something. Someone shot you out of the air. Why would someone do that? I don't know. Well, let's get you back to base and get that wrist looked at. Paradigm? Good afternoon, agents. Peely? Uh-uh, that's Agent Peely. Oh, right. Sorry, sir. Is Paradigm okay? He needs time to rest. He's been working so hard since the chrome attack, I stepped in and took over. Now tell me, who hired the little bear? Oh, well, that would have been Paradigm. Good. I like him. He's cool. I need medical assistance. Oh, right. Gwen broke her wrist. We were out testing balloons and we were attacked. Oh, why did you say so? Oh, come on. I'll get you fixed up. Thanks for saving me again, Peter. Anytime. Get well soon. Hey, MJ. You're not gonna believe the day I've had. Uh-huh. Tell me about it. Well, me and Gwen were suspended in the air by balloons and someone shot Gwen out of the sky. Oh no, how sad. MJ? What's the matter with you? She almost died. Oh, almost? That's a shame. MJ, did you... 
Did you shoot Gwen out of the sky? Was that you? It was me. MJ, what were you thinking? Why would you do that? I just didn't like how you two looked on your cute little balloon date. Balloon date? We were testing out new equipment. You have an unhealthy relationship with Gwen, Peter. What are you talking about? We work together. I noticed. At first it didn't bother me, but you spend all your free time with her too. It's like you're already dating her. What? MJ, that couldn't be more untrue. I have a good relationship with Gwen. I'm not in love with her or anything. We're good friends. Well, I don't like her. The way she looks at you and giggles at your jokes and... Giggles at my jokes? I get punched in the arm. She isn't into me, MJ. You've got it all wrong. I'm putting my foot down, Peter. I don't want you seeing her anymore. Not at work, not outside of work, not at all. Uh, MJ, you're being impossible to talk to right now. I'm not fooling around, Peter. You don't see her anymore, or I'm out of here. Ugh, what the heck? Hey, Gwen. You need anything? No, thanks, Grizz. I'm doing okay. How's your wrist? Still broken. Is there anything else bothering you? You can talk to me. We're friends. Oh, thanks, Grizz. But you don't need to worry about my problems. Believe me. You sure? <sighs> I guess I'm just feeling a little bad. I have a crush on someone. Someone I can't be with, and it's bumming me out. Have you told them? No. Well, almost. It was really awkward, so I stopped talking and walked away. But he just keeps on saving my life, so how am I supposed to not fall in love with him? It's Spidey, huh? Yeah. Don't tell him, okay? Of course I won't. Not my business. But you know, you can talk to Grizz whenever you like. Thanks, Grizz. I appreciate it. You give me a call if you need anything. Thanks, Grizz. Ouch! MJ can't threaten me. Not after she almost killed Gwen. I gotta make sure she's okay. Hello down there! Hey, what are you doing here? I came by to see if you're doing alright. Eh, it's not so bad. Peely says I need to take it easy for a couple of days. Nice. Well, you've got the pool, the hotel room. You can just chill out. I hate it. I want to do something. A broken wrist isn't the end of the world. Well, you want to get out of here? Eh, uh, I'm not sure. Don't worry. I'll make sure you don't get shut down again. We can go get some food. Hmm. All right. Mmm. This is so good. Honestly, I was getting so bored of sitting by that pool. Well, Peely says it's good for you, so I guess you should listen. The sooner he's happy, the sooner you can get back out there. I can't wait. Oh, by the way, thanks for saving me again. Did I? I thought I just brought you to the blimp in one piece. Still, thank you. No problem, Gwen. I should probably get home. Hope this made your night less boring. It did. Thank you. All right, well, rest up. You sure you can get back to Cloudy Condo on your own? Uh-huh. Thanks again for dinner. Later, Pete. Came to take care of me. I'm glad me and Gwen are such good friends. I can't believe MJ doesn't want me to see her anymore.
you going? I'm going to work. Is there something wrong? Are you going to work with Gwen? No. She's still on medical leave for many seven work. You know, because she broke her wrist after you shot her out of the sky. You're still defending her? I thought I told you how I feel about her, Peter. Well, you brought her up. Can't stay. Gotta be late. Bye! Peter, I'm not finished talking to you. Well, here we go again. Another boring day of injury recovery. There she is. Hey, Gwen? Hmm? Oh, MJ, right? Can I help you? Yeah, I've just got one thing to say to you. Stay away from my boyfriend or there's gonna be trouble. What? You heard me. You think I don't see how you look at him? Having your little balloon rides together? That's just work. I don't know what you're talking about, MJ. You really think I don't know that you've got feelings for him? Come on. How many times has he saved you now? Again, it's just part of the job. Well, I'm Peter's girlfriend, and it's my job to make sure that no one gets between me and him. All right, good to know. I'm gonna go back to resting now. <clears throat> Pete needs to hear about this. So this is what's happened around here. I didn't realize it was this bad. It's pretty bad. You need to get that? No, no, it's okay. We can keep going. No, go ahead. For real. I can wait. Okay. It's Gwen. Huh. What? What is it? Uh, nothing. It's just, uh... Nothing. She just wants me to pick up takeout and bring it to her cloudy condo when we're done. Oh, that's not so important. Well, come on. Let's see where this leads. MJ went to Gwen and told her to stay away from me. We need to get out of here so I can go and talk to MJ about this. What's that up there? Uh, uh, that's a, a chrome... Tree! Very dangerous, Peely. We should probably abort. Uh, uh, you know more about this stuff than I do, man. Let's back away super slow-like, so it doesn't spot us. Uh, it looks so menacing. It's okay. We're safe now. We should probably get going, before more come. Hello, Peter. MJ, I heard what you did. What did I do? MJ, you went to Gwen when she's trying to rest and you told her to stay away from me. Why would you do that? Because I want her to stay away from you. And apparently you can't be trusted not to leave her alone. I saw you coming home late last night. You did? You sound guilty. What were you doing? I was hanging out with Gwen. I was making sure she was okay after falling from the sky. Yes, she survived. Isn't that enough? Yeah, well, that's not what friends do. I told you to stay away from her, Peter, and you didn't listen to me. I'm going to give you another chance. Another chance? I told you I wouldn't stay with you if you keep seeing her. And I mean it. But I figured out how to fix that. I know I can't stop you from working with her. So you're going to go and tell Paradigm or Peely or whoever is in charge that she isn't fit for work anymore. What? You want me to get Gwen fired? Exactly. Or you'll break up with me? I meant what I said, Peter. I don't want to share you with anyone. So it's me or her. Man. It sounds like it was just a tree, Peely. See the way it looked at me! 
<clears throat> Spidey? What's up? Well, I think I have to tell you guys some bad news about Gwen. What about her? I think that her injuries are worse than we thought, and that we should take her off the Seven. Permanently. Peter, are you sure? You two are partners. I can't keep saving her. I don't think she can help us anymore. I'm surprised to hear you say that, Peter. I thought you two were a good team. We'll discuss this ourselves and decide what to do. All right. Uh, can I go? Of course. Did you tell him? I did. I feel awful. The Seven just lost a great agent. Don't worry, Peter. This is for the best. Now she won't bother us anymore. Yeah. <sighs> hey, what's going on? We've got some bad news for you, Gwen. What? What's the matter? It's come to our attention that you need to be given an extended leave from the Seven. You're taking me off the Seven? Why? It looks like your injuries are going to prove to be a hindrance in the field. What? I'm fine. I'm getting better already. Ouch! We think it's best if you rest for as long as you need, and then we'll call if we need you. No, wait, please. There has to be another way. Sorry, Gwen. Our decision's final. Get well soon. I can't believe it. They took me off the seven. I can't believe this. How could this have happened? I've been getting better. It's just a stupid broken bone. I wonder if Peter's around. Maybe he might know what's going on. He can talk to Peely and get them to take me back. Come on, Spidey. Why won't he answer? I'll call him. What's going on? Pete, answer your phone. You gonna answer that? No. This is for the best, Peter. Now no one can get between us. Uh. Yeah. Gotcha. Gwen, why are you running? Are you kidding me? I thought Grizz was my friend. The second I'm out of the 70s, he's all over me trying to ask me out. Well, what do we have here? Whoa, 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 where's the fire? No time to talk, I gotta get out of here. Hold on a second. I know who you are. You're that spider girl, right? How could you tell? Come on, man, I gotta go. Someone after you? I'll protect you. Ugh, no thanks. I can look after myself. Hey, get back here! Are you kidding me? First Grizz, now this guy? Leave me alone! <laughs> She went inside there. Get lost. Not before you tell me your name. Forget it. Oh, I know. Oh, I'm so mad. I can't believe Grizz would ruin our friendship like this. I don't want to date him. He should just take no for an answer. Looks like we've got ourselves a little thief. Get her! Ah! What the? Hey! Stop shooting at me! Give us back our boat. I need it. She's trying to get away. Light her up.
your face? Ugh. Well, guess I can't go back to Cloudy Condo now. Gwen! Oh, finally! I thought you'd never stop running. Hey, back off, kid. She's too old for you. Can both of you stop following me? But, Gwen, I've got a huge crush on you. And I have for weeks now. And I've had a crush on you for like a, a whole minute. I don't care. Stop following me. I think I've lost him for now. I wonder if anyone's home. They might let me stay for a while. Oh, Spider Gwen, what brings you by? Hey, Bulma, forgot this was your house. Can I come in for a minute? By all means. What's the matter? Ugh. It's a long story, but basically, I've lost my job at the Seven, and boys won't stop harassing me to date them. I'm this close to losing it, Bulma. Oh no, I'm sorry about your job, Gwen. But why would the Seven let you go? You're one of the best heroes they've got. I wish I knew. At first they said it was because I broke my wrist, but that doesn't make any sense. Sounds like you've got a ton on your plate. How about some noodle soup? Oh, I really couldn't. Thanks, Bulma. Nonsense! I'll whip something up for you. Be right back! Wow. Huh? Did you just say wow? Uh, did I say that aloud? What's wow? Oh, well, you know, just you! Oh, look, that's sweet, but I'm in no mood. Are you sure? Maybe you might like to go out on a date with me sometime. Bulma, what's the matter? Goku, are you bothering Gwen? Bulma, I didn't mean to ask her out. It all just kind of came out. Goku, have some respect for women. She spent all day running from guys trying to ask her out. She doesn't need this from you, too. Yes, Bulma. Sorry, Bulma. Don't apologize to me. Apologize to Gwen. Sorry, Gwen. That's all right. I should get going anyway. See you around, Bulma. Sorry, Gwen. Take care. Goku, what did I tell you about flirting with guests? Sorry, Bulma. She was just really cute. That is no excuse. Can people just not go there with me today? I'm not interested in dating anyone. Well, except Peter. But he's ignoring me, and he's already got a girlfriend. Ugh, today sucks. Who are these two? How many times do I have to tell you I don't want to date you anymore? That was in the past, and now I just want to be a free woman with no man to weigh me down. Diana, you can't possibly mean that. We were a good thing. I know it's way in the past, but you and me, we're a good match. Think that all you like. Doesn't change my mind. Hmm, <laughs> fine. Guess I'll find someone else to be my beloved. Someone who wants me back. Good. I hope you do. <gasps> you really mean that, don't you? Would you like me to repeat myself? <sighs> no. I'll find someone else. Then you'll see how happy we are, and you'll be jealous. Like her. You'd hate it if I dated her, right? I don't care. But whatever you do, don't... What the big baby. Hey, I'm Superman. Hi, Superman. You mind stepping aside so I can keep walking? Just a second. I wanted to ask you something. 
If the question isn't, want a free wish that can solve all your problems, then I don't care. Well, I don't mean to toot my own horn, but I'm something of a godlike being. Make a wish to me and I'll see that it comes true. I wish that you'd leave me alone. Ah, a witty one. I bet Diana's watching right now. Oh. Hey, so I didn't get your name. My apologies. You're a spider person, I see. Could you be the famous Gwen Stacy I've heard so much about? Never heard of her. Come on. You're making me look like a creep here. Block my way again, and I'll scream. Hey, come on. I'm being nice. Will you just talk to me? No. Please just leave me alone. I swear, I only need five minutes. And you'll see that I'm a really nice guy. In what universe does no mean yes? Oh, what is this? Hey, Gwen. Heard you were having a little trouble. Iron Man? Yeah, like the suit. I call it the Zero Model. Well, thanks for helping there. Some guys just don't know how to take no for an answer. Don't mention it, Gwen. The Seven looks after their own. I'm not in the Seven anymore. Yeah, I heard about the broken wrist thing. All the same, you're still part of the crew to me. Thanks, Iron Man. Don't mention it. And if that guy comes back, give me a call. Wouldn't mind giving him another one of these. Got it. Thanks again. Hello? Hey, Spidey. Hey, what's up, man? I need to talk to you. It's about Gwen. Oh, well, what about her? Give me a cloudy condo. Gotcha. See you there. Oh, where are you going? Peely just called. Uh, something about work. I gotta go. You better not be meeting Gwen. I just told you I'm meeting Peely. Call him and ask him if you like. Hmm. All right. Later, MJ. Jeez, she's got to drop the Gwen thing. I already got her fired and ghosted her. What more does she want? Hey, Peely. What's the matter? Well, there's a problem. Gwen has gone missing. Missing? Yeah, she's supposed to be here getting better. But she's gone without a trace. I thought you might have heard where she went. Well, how should I know? Well, because you guys are close. Have you been talking to MJ? What? No, why? Oh, well, no reason. Me and Gwen are, well, we're friends. But we're not talking. What happened? It's complicated, but not what you think. Okay, well... If you do hear from her, maybe you can tell her to come back and rest up. I'd like to know how she's doing. Yeah, of course. I'll go see what I can do. Is that an Iron Man suit? Hey, kid. How you doing? You're Tony Stark. But that's not possible. Sure is. I'm Tony from another... Another universe. Gotcha. Well, uh, can I help you with anything, Mr. Stark? Well, maybe you can go and help out your spider friend, Gwen. I think she could do with a friend right now. You know where Gwen is? Sure, she's over by the woods. And, uh, Peter, you should probably know. She's been chased around all day by guys trying to date her. She's pretty bothered by it. What? She's been chased around by guys? I have to help her. I knew you would, kid. And where is that pool? No way. Is that... It is. Feely! Tony! <sighs> How 
how did all this happen? First I get feelings for my best friend. He's in a relationship. Then I get kicked out of the seven for no good reason. And now, ugh, now I just want to be left alone. Ah, my favorite time of day, night. Oh, what's this? Well, well, well. Looks like I'm not the only one who comes out after dark. Things have not gone how I thought. I've lost everything. I wonder if things would have turned out differently if I just told Peter how I felt. Hey there. Huh? What are you doing, sneaking up on people like that? Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to alarm you. I just saw you looking longingly into the night and wondered if I could join you. I don't want any company. Name's Meow Skulls, by the way. Dude, leave me alone. I said I don't want any company. Come on now, I'm trying to be polite. Whatever. What the? Now that's just rude. Can't I get a moment's peace, please? Can everyone just leave me alone? You don't know what you're missing. <laughs> you really think I can't catch up to that thing? What is wrong with you? Leave me alone. <laughs> this is fun. I'm gonna get you. I'll call Iron Man on you and he'll tie you in a knot. That's your boyfriend? No, I don't have one. Hooey! Well then I'd say I'm first in line. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna run that cat over. Oh, changed your mind, I see. All day. I've been chased around all day by idiots like you. <laughs> That's it. Now I'm mad. Uh-oh. Well, this situation went from bad to worse. You're gonna pay for that! Come on, give me a break. Stop shooting at me. Spidey. Get out of here. That's it. Peter. Gwen, what happened? I just wanted to be alone. After the Seven let me go, everything just started going wrong. Gwen, don't cry. Come on, let's get you inside somewhere. And that Superman guy is such a creep. I'm so sorry you had to deal with all of that, Gwen. I, uh, I think I should probably come clean about some stuff. What do you mean? Well, you see, the whole thing with you getting let go from the Seven, that was me. What do you mean it was you? It's just, remember when MJ came to you and told you to stay away from me? Well, she's super paranoid about us spending time together, and she made me do it. Your girlfriend made you fire me to keep me away from you? Yeah. And is that why you haven't been answering your phone? Yeah, it is. I'm so sorry, Gwen. I didn't want to do it. I shouldn't have let MJ get into my head over it. I'm going straight to Peely and Paradigm tomorrow to tell them the truth. You will? Of course. I need my partner back. And I don't care what MJ thinks. I can't let you wander this island looking for a purpose when it's right here with us. Thank you, Peter. But... but what about MJ? MJ is just gonna have to deal with it. <sighs> Alright. Well, wanna bring me back to Cloudy Condo? Sure. You need me to bring you? I'd like you to, if that's all right. Sure. All right, well, you get as much rest as you need, and hopefully tomorrow you'll have your job back. Thank you so much, Pete. This means so much to me. <laughs> you're, you're welcome, Gwen. Good night.
whatever's happened to this island. I'll find the answers there. This won't be easy. What is that? these things. to get inside that castle. I can't believe it. The sanctuary is gone. I have to know what's going on in there. Uh, too close? It's pulling me in! Ah, what's happening to me? I'm turning to chrome! What happened? Uh, well, no time to think about that. I'm still alive. And that's the important thing. Uh. That was weird. Could come in handy, though. Welcome, Gwen Stacy. Huh? Where are you? Stop. Don't move. You can't threaten me. You can't command me. Put the gun down and join me. You can call me Bites. Bite this. Sooner or later, you realize that by joining me, you'll never feel pain again. But until then... Uh. Who is this guy? He hurt Gwen. Maybe I can sneak up to him. Welcome, Peter Parker. Whoa! That's super freaky! Who are you? What did you do to Gwen? Ugh, Peter, get out of here. I can see that you've already decided to join us. Good. No way would I join you! I just got the goop on me. What's going on? Neil! Right? I'm all right. He just grazed me. Let's get you out of here. What was that, Gwen? I don't know, but it's on you. Uh, I know, but don't worry. I think that I can control it. I will worry, but thanks for getting me out of there anyway. Let's go. We need to see the Seven. Holding up. I'm fine. I'm just in shock about what's happening to the island. So am I. It's not good. The Seven will know what's going on. The whole canyon is floating. Guess everyone here was prepared for something like this. A flood, maybe. Guess it keeps the chrome away from the houses, too. Makes sense. Hopefully, the Seven were prepared, too. Doesn't look like there's anyone here. 
was that? You need to leave here now. Paradigm? Yes, but I'm from Reality 659. A seven member from another universe? That's right, like you spider people. Same person, different universe. Now let's go, people. Move it! What happened here? The seven are no more. They've been taken by the Chrome. Taken? The Chrome. They found it here and we're studying it. It's like a parasite. It absorbs and assimilates anything it touches. Uh, that's weird. Because I got it on me too. Ah! You aren't part of the hive mind. I don't think so. I can move like them and morph like them. But I'm still your friendly neighborhood Spider-Man. I see. What do you two know about the situation here? I found a castle where the sanctuary used to be. There was a man inside who called himself Bites, but he was one of them. Probably has high ranking under the Queen. Queen? Yep, there's something controlling it all. I need you two to get out there and investigate the other areas that have been affected. Gather all intel you can. Is there a way to stop it? I don't know, but seeing Spidey here able to resist it, there might just be a way to turn back the effects. But I don't know how to save the island. Not yet. We save it together. Go now. Don't waste any time. I'll contact you later with a new home base. The Seven's hideout is gone. Good luck out there. It's taken over everything. Not everything yet. There's still time to turn this around. How do you plan to do that? With science, there has to be a way to destabilize the chrome so it detaches from the organic life. Just need to figure out how. I hope you know what you're talking about. Whoa, hold up, Gwen. Look at that guy. He's one of them. No, look closer. A kid, a little bear guy. Well, he doesn't look too friendly. Uh oh. What do we do, Peter? I have an idea. Huh? What happened? What's going on? It's all right. Everything's going to be all right. I'm Spider-Man, and this is Gwen. Hi. It's all right, little guy. What's your name? It's Grizz. Peter, what did you just do? I don't know. It just seemed like the right thing to do. What is all this? It's called the Chrome. And it looks like you got some of it on you. Yeah, you think? Come with us. You might be able to help us. What makes you think I don't have somewhere better to be, huh? Oh, well, do you? No, not really. But I guess if you can help me get this stuff off me, I'll come with you. Then let's get going. Where are we going? We're going somewhere safe where I can contact someone in charge. Hello? Paradigm. We went to the temples. It's been overrun on the whole east side of the island. Not good. What else? We found someone. A kid. He was assimilated. But I touched him and managed to reverse some of the mind control. Very good. Send him to me. I'll text you my location. Got it. 
Head to Lazy Lagoon. There's an individual there I heard a rumor about that might have the key to turning back the chrome. I'll go right away. Good luck. All right, we got new orders. Gwen, I need you to bring Grizz back to Paradigm. What about you? I'm going to the volcano. You're going alone? I'll be fine. Paradigm thinks there's something there that might help. I'll see you both later. Come on, Grizz. Spidey knows what he's doing. Well, it's up to me now. Where did all this come from? None of us had any warning. Avast! Come for me booty, have ye? Well, we can't be having none of that now. What booty would that be? What? Me loot, of course. You mean to tell me that you think all this is riches to you? Of course, lad. Silver as far as the eye can see, and it's all mine. Look, I know you think this is going to make you super rich, but this stuff is evil. Believe me. I think we can work together. Are you offering to join me crew, lad? What? No, I just think that we can figure this out and... Because it'll be the plank for you if you don't. Uh-oh. The last. We won't be having any of that now. What do you plan to do once you be has me loot? I plan to stop it. I... I was afraid you might be saying that. Yar! Yeah. Should bring this back to Paradigm. Good, you're back. Yeah, I fought a pirate. For real? That's so cool. Yeah. Did you find anything? Only this. I think it's some of the chrome. But he was like me. It didn't take him over completely. Good. This should help to reverse the effects then. Where's Gwen? I sent her back out. Go and join her. She needs help. Right away. Later, Spidey. Why here? Why the sanctuary? Why do these things need a castle? Guess it's got something to do with this Queen Paradigm mentioned. Hey, Paradigm sent me to find you. Hey, are you still feeling okay? I'm fine. I did just fight an all-chrome pirate, though. Weird. What's going on down here? That's exactly what Paradigm sent me down here to find out. We need to get into that castle undetected somehow and figure out what Bites is up to. Huh. I have an idea. Does it involve you turning into goop again? It might. Ugh. Fine. Boy, here we go. Ready for this? 
You think you can sneak in there and see if anyone's home? I'll do my best. going on soon my queen we will have the entire island under our control and then when it's completely covered in chrome we shall destroy all other realities well that's not good my queen your throne is ready for your arrival and there are many souls to consume come forth come forth uh, I think we need to leave just another minute in time, all will bow to you, my queen, and all will be consumed. I await your arrival, patiently. Okay, now can we go? He's talking to her, the queen. I think you're right. What do you think happens when she gets here? I have no idea, but Paradigm needs to hear this. What did you find? Lights is trying to summon the Queen. No, then we don't have much time. But I have good news for you both. What is it? Hey, it worked! Grizz, you're better! How did you fix him, Paradigm? Science. Nice. Listen, uh, I should probably say thank you for saving me. If I didn't meet you two, I'd probably still be out there. I want to help, in any way that I can. Good, because we're going to need all the help we can get. You hear that, Grizz? You're on the team! Really? Ah, oh, thanks! Grizz must be trained in the ways of the Seven now. We're all that's left of them. Let's not let their sacrifice be in vain. Gotta get in there. I have to stop this. There's no time to call for backup, so it's up to me. It's happening. Out of my way. They really don't want me here. I have to know what's going on. Is it the Queen? Has she finally arrived? You are too late, child. You... you're... her. You have fought bravely, Gwen Stacy, but you have already failed. What do you want? Why have you come here? I am the Herald of Change. I have only one desire, to consume and convert. It has already begun. This island will be reimagined in my image, and I will shine brighter than the stars. No, I won't let you. I'll do what I have to. You will die. What? Feeble attempt. 
foolish girl. You didn't think this through, and now you will die. Gwen, we gotta go! Who are you? It's me! It's Miles! Huh? Come on! Change will come for you, Gwen Stacy. Are you good? I'm alright. She used some magic on me. It's okay. You're safe now. We should get going. Hold up a second. Who the heck are you? Miles. No. You're not Miles. I know Miles. Gwen. It's me. What's the matter? No. Uh, Gwen? What's the matter with you? Who are you? What do you want? I came to save you. I missed you, Gwen. Come on, let's get going. No, I... I don't know who you are. Stay away from me. What the heck was that about? Hey, Spidey, get down to my place right away. Gwen? What's the matter? Just get down here. Too much to say over the phone. Hurry! Hurry up, Pete. Gwen! What happened? Pete, it's bad. I was doing recon at the castle when I heard something humming from inside. I had to check it out and... She's here. Queen? Uh-huh. I fought my way to her in. She almost got me. But then something or someone pretending to be Miles showed up and saved me. Wow. That's a lot to unpack. Uh, wait. Did you say someone pretending to be Miles? Yeah, you heard right. He tried to convince me that it's really him, but I know Miles. That is not Miles. Weird. And what happened then? I ran from him. It freaked me out, and... Gwen? What the? Pete, that's him. All right, I'll deal with him. Hey, who do you think you are? I'm Miles. Oh, even I know you're not Miles. What do you want? I just want to be with Gwen. Get out of here, now. I'm warning you. So, the Queen has arrived. You're lucky to be alive, Gwen. I know, but someone showed up and pulled me out of there. Who? Some creep impersonating Miles. He said he missed me and wanted to take me home. Ugh, that's so creepy. I know what I'd do if he came near me. He's here. Oh my god, he keeps following me. Hey, Stalker, what do you think you're doing? I just want to talk to Gwen. Can you give us a minute? Oh, wrong answer. Now get lost. Is he gone? Uh-huh. Thank you.
Tywin knocked him out of the restaurant with a punch. Oof! Hate to be that guy. Tywin punches like a sledgehammer. Who's that? Huh? You're kidding me. That's the guy. Huh. Apparently Tywin didn't hit him hard enough. going to be bothering you anymore. Oh yeah, nice. Oh man, I'm thirsty after all that. Slurp? I'd love one. So what happened with that imposter dude? Any more trouble? All day long, everywhere I went, he was there stalking me. Luckily, I had Tywin and Lennox Rose to swat him away. I feel so creeped out, Pete. Pete, he's here. What? Oh, this guy. I'll be right back. No, I'll deal with him this time. Gwen! Don't Gwen me, you creeper. You need to explain yourself right now. Why are you impersonating my friend? I'm not. It's really me, Miles. All day long, you didn't take the hint. And you've been following me around like a freaky stalker. What's the matter with you? I don't know what you're talking about. It's really me, Gwen. Why can't you see that? You think I don't know my own friend? Fine, I'll give you a chance. If you're really Miles, Prove it. Prove it? How? Take off your mask and show me your face. Something wrong there, Miles? I, I, uh, I can't take it off. Did you glue it to yourself? Come here, I'll take it off for you. Uh, no, don't do that. Gotcha, I knew it. Come on, Gwen, let's get out of here. That's definitely not Miles. Well, now he's outed himself as an imposter. But now I need to know who he really is. Why did he save me? Why follow me? This is weird, Pete. We'll figure this out, Gwen. Don't worry. I thought. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. Huh? Whoa, <laughs> what was that for? For saving my life. I can't thank you enough. Those wolves were gonna eat me for sure. It's all right, you're safe now. Don't worry, I'm Grizz. Wildberry, nice to meet you, Grizz. Say, uh, that's an interesting look you have. And I don't think I've ever met another bear before. Where are you from? I just arrived here. I don't know anyone here. Oh, well, except you now. No way. Well, uh, you know where you're going? Not really. Well, you're in luck, because I'm a member of the Seven. And I can escort you to safety even introduce you to some folks so you don't feel so lonely. You'd do that for me? Of course. Oh, thank you so much, Chris. Wow, a city. 
city in the sky. Yeah, this is where we all live. It's not safe to be on the ground these days. How do we get up there? Follow me. Welcome to Cloudy Condo. Wow, it's even nicer up here. Hey look, there's some of our people now. Hey, how's it going? Hey Grizz, who's your friend? Oh, uh, this is Wildberry. I found her out in the forest being chased by wolves. She just got here. So Grizz saved you? Uh-huh. He saved my life. I'm so grateful. He's quite the hero, our Grizz. So you're new, huh? Well, you're gonna need some friends to show you around the place. Yeah, you're right. Well, why don't you hang out with us sometime? Yeah, we can show you around. Hey, look at this. Making friends already. That sounds wonderful. Thank you both so much. Don't mention it. So what are you two doing? I'm just showing Barry around the island. We should go to the arcade. There's an arcade? Uh-huh. It's all right. Can we go there now? Sure. Well, have a nice day, guys. You too. Oh, they are just so cute. to visit an arcade like this. It's great. Check this one out. Cool. Let me try. Hey, you're pretty good. I play a lot of games. You do? No way. Me too. Mall. You guys have a mall? Yeah, it's pretty neat, huh? Absolutely! Oh my gosh, they have a Waffle House? Yeah, you want to try some? Yes, please! This is my temporary HQ. It's pretty cool, huh? It's so cool. I've always wanted to ride in an air balloon. Can I see inside? You didn't think I'd bring you here just to look at it, did you? Oh my gosh, that was so cool! Always makes me a little sick. Uh, but I'm glad you enjoyed it. Grizz, hey, who's your new friend? Oh, Spidey, how you doing? This is Wildberry, we just met. Nice to meet you, Wildberry. On behalf of the Seven, we are at your service. You mean you guys can protect me and make sure no more wolves chase me? Uh, that's how we met. All right, well, yeah, of course. The Seven are the protectors of this reality, and we'll do everything we can to keep our people safe. You included. Ah! Thank you so much! Can I have a look around? Be my guest. Just don't touch anything. Thanks! Ooh! She seems nice, man. I know, right? Dude, I need to ask you some advice. What is it, man? Well, me and Barry, we've got a lot in common. And we've been hanging out all day. She's super sweet and is excited by everything. I think she likes me. And I think I like her too, man. What should I do? Well, if she likes you like she says she does, then just keep doing what you're doing. What am I doing? You're being yourself, man. Oh, 
That's it? Uh-huh. Dude, I think you should tell her and ask her out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I'm gonna do it, man. I'm psyched. You two have fun, man. This is so cool. I know, right? Say, Wildberry, you wanna go do something else? Sure, later, spider person. Later, Wildberry. Thanks for stopping by. So, uh, Wildberry, I wanna ask you something. Sure, Chris, what is it? I've been having a great time with you today. And I can't believe I've met another bear. And I can't believe how lucky I am that it's you. So, uh, would you maybe like to, I don't know, go out to dinner with me? I'd love to, Grizz. That's so sweet. I like you. You're a really nice guy. And a true hero. Oh, well, I, uh, I don't know what to say. <laughs> Thank you. Let's get going, then. Grizz, this place is so good. This is exactly what I wanted. Yeah? <laughs> well, there's loads more where that came from. You mean there's more food like this? Uh-huh. This is practically all we eat. This and ramen. Ooh, I want to try some ramen. You can have anything you like, Wildberry. I'm real glad you said you like me, too. Yeah? Yeah, I'm not so lucky with relationships. As in, I've never actually been in one. But when I met you, I felt something I've never felt before. I guess it's got something to do with the fact that you're real pretty. All right, you better stop it, mister. I'm gonna blush. <laughs> it's true. And what are the chances that we both pilot Slurp Monster exosuits, huh? Right? We should check out the Rave Cave. The Rave Cave? Wow, Grizz, this is awesome. I thought you might like it. You're pretty good. You ain't so bad yourself. <laughs> hey, come with me. I want to show you something. Wow, what is this place? It was a ride. It'd bring you around the whole mountain, but it's been broken for a while now. It's still so beautiful up here. Yeah, it really is. Grizz, I have to tell you, this has been the greatest day of my life. I never thought I'd say it, but almost getting eaten by wolves was the best thing that ever happened to me. What? It was? How come? Because if I didn't, I never would have met you. Oh, shucks. You kissed me again. I hope you know this means I'm gonna have to kiss you back. I'd be offended if you didn't. Gwen. Hey Bullseye. Deadpool. What? You weren't standing where I was, Gwenny. That thing could have taken my head off. I had to put it down. You're a different kind of crazy, aren't you? Oh, you have no idea. That's right, folks. Me and Gwen Stee here have just met. And she has no idea that I've got a serious problem with breaking the fourth wall. What's about to happen next will shock you. Uh, Deadpool? Are we gonna train today or not? Ah, there you are. So, you wanna know how to be a better superhero, huh? Well, I have great news. I basically trained most of the X-Men. Is that true? So, we're gonna start off with basic combat. 
Try to take my head off with one of these. You want me to try to take your head off? Don't worry if you don't get it in one hit. It can take a little practice. I don't see how this makes me a better superhero. Wouldn't it just make me a murderer? I want to see how fast you are. Go on now. Deep breath. Big swing. I bet you can't do it. Uh... Maximum effort. Okay. Nice try. You really are crazy. I could have seriously hurt you. It's fine. I've grown my body back before. Okay. Are you sure you were in the Avengers? Promise. I'll be right back. Just keep doing what you're doing, sweetie. What you doing? Ah! What's the matter with you sneaking up on a guy like that? Enjoying the view? I, uh, was just, uh, cloud watching. You were watching Gwen. It's okay. I won't snitch. Oh, well, all right. You know her? Oh, yeah. You were boyfriend? Oh, no. Actually, Gwen was just telling me how badly she wanted to get to know some emo cat person. She's got the hots for him. Well, that's me. I got the hots for her, too. It has to be me. You know what? I think you're right. Why don't you go and give her a kiss? Huh? You don't think that's a little too much to begin with? Nonsense! That's how mature people get to know each other. You are mature enough for Gwen, aren't you? Uh, of course I am. I got this. And remember, no need to do anything nice, or even say anything. You're gonna win her heart for sure. Alright, if you say so. Hey, uh, if this don't work, can you give me some more pointers? Absolutely. Maybe I should get some swords. <clears throat> huh? Blah! What the? Hey! Get lost, creep! Hey, uh, so that didn't work. Did you set me up? What? Oh, no. You mustn't have done it right. Get back over there and try it again. Hmm. Okay. Ugh! Hey! I told you to leave me alone! <laughs> oh, I'm such a troll. So, I'm trying to learn more skills as a hero. Then maybe Paradigm might let me back in with the Seven. Then you're in luck. I've trained many Amazonians in the art of war. The children of Athena bestowed upon me their boons to carry out their work. Only a worthy warrior may wear these gauntlets. Ooh, maybe I do need accessories. I shall show you how I use them. Watch closely. Hey, baby, let's get out of here. Excuse me? Didn't I just swat you away at the beach? I can take you away, wherever you want to go. Listen, I don't want to do that. So why don't you just take yourself away? Uh, all right. They just don't get it, do they? Blending in with the dark allows you to become the hunter. Even if your prey thinks otherwise, you must move with the shadows. I like this. Yeah, it's sick. Makes being Batman worthwhile. Ready for another round? Let's do it. Should we help him? I'm sure he's fine. Ah, this is super.
super heavy. Are you serious? That's a paperweight. Well, no offense, but you're a lot bigger than me. You're right. Looks like we have a visitor. Oh no, this guy just won't take a hint. Come on in. Uh, hi. You better be here to train, otherwise I'd think you were being creepy. I wasn't, I swear. Then let me see you lift something. Here, try this one. Uh, okay. All right, that was gnarly. Let's get you to the hospital. Hey. What's the matter? Did my chemical romance break up again? I got a bone to pick with you. Oh, if I had a penny for every time I heard that one. What did I do this time? None of the advice you gave me has been working. I'm starting to think you're playing me for an idiot. Cause I ain't. Oh, Skulls. I admire your passion. But you can't give up yet. Not when you're so close. Get back out there and find your lady love. And if she threatens to call the cops, remember that that's just a test. You promise? On Professor X's bald head, I swear it. This is crazy. <laughs> I'm so bad. So, you want to be a better superhero, huh? Well, I'm going to give you some advice. To start with, don't listen to that idiot Wade Wilson. I like Deadpool, even if he did leave me in the middle of our training session. Here we go. Last chance. Gwen? Ugh, what? I... I like you. And I'd really like to take you out on a date. And I'm sorry I've been getting it wrong all day, but maybe if I just talk to you then that might change your mind. You're still getting it wrong. I do not like you. I do not want to date you. And I don't want you to harass me again. Got it? I'd listen to the lady, bub. Fine. Not like I tried everything. Now I just look like an idiot. That's it. I can't take this rejection anymore. I don't know what I did wrong. I did everything Deadpool said, and then it just made me look like a dummy. I guess I'm just some unlovable creature that don't deserve nobody. This is Gwen's house. I'll show her. Make me look like an idiot. Show her. This is great, Gwen. I can't believe we haven't gone out dancing yet. I tend to stick to the dance machine in the arcade. You don't like places like this, huh? I'm not crazy about clubs, but I'm happy to be here with you. So am I. Thanks for coming, Gwen. I feel like we've needed this. We've hardly had enough time together. Just you and me. Can you believe we adopted Grizz? 
I know, I can't believe how much things have changed. In a good way, right? Yeah, of course. Whoa, look at that. Spidey, I know. <sighs> it's a shame he's spoken for. I know. Where's the bathroom in this place? It's downstairs. Be right back. That's it. I have to dance with him. Me too. Uh, okay then. Someone's popular. Okay, just gonna wait until he notices me. Pete, over here! Alright, now he's just ignoring me. Fine then, dance with your adoring fans. See if I care. Huh? Gwen? Oh man. Where are you going? I gotta go, sorry. Aww. <laughs> Gwen? What's the matter? I saw you leaving. You didn't say why. Are you kidding me? I came back from the bathroom in that place to find you dancing with two girls. Who were they? I, uh, didn't catch their names. Well, did you even notice me standing there waiting for you? Well, not really. I was having a good time. So much fun that you forgot about your girlfriend? We were just dancing. They came to me. And you just couldn't get away from them, could you? I was just trying to be polite. I don't care that you were dancing with them, but that you didn't see me standing there waiting for you to stop. I'm really upset with you, Pete. But I didn't do anything wrong. I'm sorry, Gwen, but I didn't know. And now I'm telling you. Ugh, how old are you? I'm going to bed. Ugh. Gwen doesn't know what she's talking about. He really said that? Uh-huh. Unbelievable. He left the house and didn't come back last night. Probably went back to the club. No, he wouldn't do that. I don't know, Gwen. You never really know. I know, Pete. He wouldn't do that. Then where is he? I don't know. I just wish he'd listen to me. I told him I was upset and he said I shouldn't be. That's not fair. Wait for him to come to you and apologize. Only he can fix this. What should I do? Deadpool! You know you're supposed to say the name of an actual football player, right? I did. So what do you guys think I should do? I was only dancing with those girls. But Gwen is super mad at me. Did you exchange numbers? Plan a date? Lay on lips? No, of course not. Then no harm done. That's not entirely true. You weren't standing where Gwen was. I guess. Well, maybe I should just go talk to her. I think that's a good plan. Don't listen to Deadpool. He can't keep a girlfriend to save his life. Deadpool! When are you home? She must have gone out. Maybe she's having lunch. Oh, hey, Spidey. 
Oh, hey, it's you, from the club. What are you doing here? So I should just wait for Pete to show up and apologize? Ugh, I hate fighting. Huh? He's with that girl from last night. Has he been with her this whole time? I'm so sorry. I didn't realize you two were a thing. It's all right, no harm done. Anyway, if you do see Gwen, Tell her I'm looking for her, will you? Of course! Thanks! What the? It's the other girl from last night! Hey! Oh, ha! I didn't expect to see you down here! Yeah, see, I'm actually looking for my girlfriend, Gwen. You know the girl I was with last night? Have you seen her? Oh, I'm afraid I haven't. She was your girlfriend? I'm sorry I didn't know. Well, we had a big fight, and I haven't seen her since last night. I have to find her and apologize. Shoot, well if I see her, I'll let you know. What's your number? Huh? Peter's here too? With the other girl? Gwen! Oh, I've been looking everywhere for you. What is this? Huh? I saw you with the other one too. Gwen, you saw me with Ariana? I was asking if she saw you. Oh, that is so believable, Peter. I'm not lying to you, Gwen. It's true! I don't care. Forget this. Ugh, I'm sorry. Drama! It's alright. Just be calm and talk to her. Don't tell her she's wrong. Just explain it's not what she thought. Gwen? I don't want to see you right now, Peter. Gwen, please, just let me explain. It's not how it looked, I promise you. I thought that you would come home last night, but you didn't. I thought you'd come back to me today, but I found you with both the girls you were with last night. The same girls you ignored me over. Now how is this not how it looks? I was with Deadpool and Iron Man. They can vouch for me. Of course, you got your buddies to back you up. How am I supposed to believe them when I don't even believe you? Gwen, come on. This is just a misunderstanding. I'm sorry about what happened last night, but today was a complete coincidence. I want you to leave. Gwen, no, you don't mean that. We can work this out. I said I want you to leave. Now! Please don't do this! Get out! So how's things with you and Peter? Have you guys fixed things up? Not really. I'm still so angry with him. We had a huge fight and I kicked him out of the house. You think that was the right thing to do? I don't know. I just wish he'd give me some space. Every moment of every day, he's... I think someone's trying to get your attention. Don't know what you're talking about. Man, I thought that would work. I'm not gonna stop, Gwen. I'll win your heart back. You'll see. Come on, Gwen, please. Gwen! Oh, thank you. I've been out here for a while. Listen, I know you're still upset with me, and I want to make it up to you. I don't like flowers, Pete. You know they give me allergies. Oh, well, how about some candy? Or a movie? Or anything I can do to make it up with you? Leave me alone. If I leave you alone, will you get back with me? Gwen, is that a yes?
So how's things with you and Peter? Have you guys fixed things up? Not really. I'm still so angry with him. We had a huge fight and I kicked him out of the house. You think that was the right thing to do? I don't know. I just wish he'd give me some space. Every moment of every day, he's... I think someone's trying to get your attention. Don't know what you're talking about. Man, I thought that would work. I'm not gonna stop, Gwen. I'll win your heart back. You'll see. This one's for you, Gwen. It's the middle of the night. Tired. Peter kept me up so late with that stupid guitar playing. Surprise! What the? Peter, did you let yourself in? Yeah, I know you like cake, so I got up early to make you one. I don't want cake. I want you to give me some space. That's all I asked for, and you can't even do that. You should leave. When? I'm sorry. No, I don't want to hear any more apologies. It's too late. I don't want to be in this relationship anymore. What? Gwen, you don't mean that. I do. And if you had any respect, you'd get out when I told you to. Gwen, I didn't mean to upset you. I... I said get out. What's gotten into her? Did she just break up with me? I've never seen her like this. Hmm, I wonder what has him so upset. I can't believe Gwen left me. I tried so hard to make it right. <laughs> Peter, is everything okay? <laughs> MJ, what are you doing here? Well, I just saw you looking lost and upset. Are you good? Well, uh, um, you see, I've uh, just been feeling pretty alone and gutted the last 30 minutes or so. Why? What happened? It's uh, complicated. Come with me, Peter. I'll cheer you up. That was so mean of me. I can't believe I treated Peter like that. He apologized. He tried to make it up and all I did was scream at him. I have to make up with him. I don't want to lose him. Oh. Oh, I see how it is. He's messing with my head. He tells me he loves me, then dances with random girls. Tells me nothing and then spends all day with them anyway. I get mad at him for it, and he goes straight back to his ex. I should have known better. Listen, MJ, thanks, but I've kind of got to deal with this myself. Of course, I understand. Well, if you ever need me, you know where to find me. I'll be waiting. Okay. Man, I do not need MJ involved with this. Peter thinks he can mess with me? Well, I give as good as I get. Uh-huh. And then maybe we can send Wolverine to the Joneses. Right, and we can have the spiders on call for backup. But Logan should be able to handle it. do for you I have some troubling news to report about spider-man what's the matter I found out he's been leaking top-secret Intel to his ex-girlfriend MJ 
She's been working against the Seven for some time. She has? Do you have proof of this? I do. I saw them on the way over here. Oh no. This isn't good. Not good at all. We'll have to take serious action on this. Thank you, Gwen. I know it must not have been easy to deliver this to us. It was easier than you'd think, boss. She's dealing with dark forces. And if he's dealing with her, then it's already too late. I really hope Gwen likes the gifts I got her. Hello? Spidey, get to the blimp. On the double. Oh, okay, what's the emergency? Uh-oh, what's going on? Uh, maybe I should call Iron Man. Come on. Oh, looks fine. I wonder what's the emergency. I can't believe you decided to call me up, Gwen. But what happened with you and Peter? We're over. Oh, really? What happened? That's not important. All that's important now is that he gets what he deserves. I gotta say, I've never seen this side of you before, Gwen. I like it. I like you too. You do? I can't believe I got fired! Leaking intel to MJ? Are they crazy? Huh. Maybe I shouldn't have called Paradigm crazy to her face. Bad move. Ugh. What am I gonna do now? Quinn's gone. MJ's crazy. None of my friends are answering my calls and now I'm out of the seven over some rumor. I'm all out of lifelines. Man. Hello? Hey, Jerry! Listen, I wanted to apologize for what happened at the dinner party. I- I'm sorry, who is this? It's Lil' Whip. Who's this? It's... Spider-Man? Oh, sorry. Wrong number. Ugh. Is there no one out there I can turn to? If this is Lil' Whip again, I swear. Hello? Pete? Gwen? Hey. I need you to meet me at the pool. You do? Yeah, hurry up and get down here. I'll be there right away. Gwen, I... Gwen? What's he doing here? He's keeping me company. Right, Miles? Right. What the? Hey! What's going on? Stop that! Sorry you got fired, Pete. That's rough. Gwen, you better explain what's going on right now! Isn't it obvious? I, I, I can't. I can't stand here and see you two do this! Good riddance. You okay, Gwen? Better than ever. What the heck is going on? Who was that? That's not Gwen. That's not her. <laughs> Look at all these pumpkins, Pete. This is amazing. I love Halloween. I do too. But Halloween is the time of year where all the weirdos decide to come out and cause trouble. You gotta stay sharp. Oh, come on. Not everything is a crime drama. And you're not the chief of police. Let's just enjoy some quality family time. Carve some creepy pumpkins and make pumpkin pie. It'll be festive. Well, that does sound pretty nice. All right, I'll go get the kids and we can get started on the first batch of pumpkins. I'll harvest some more and I'll be right back in. All right, don't take too long. It's getting dark out.
creepy. you attack me oh dyer can be a little heavy-handed when he's hunting for me and who are you i'm dj Leica, and you're gonna be the newest addition to the pack what what are you going to do <sighs> i'm gonna see what your worth is one of us <laughs> i think she likes it We'll see how you do. And if the boot fits, well, <laughs> you'll be one of us forever before the night's through. If you survive, that is. <laughs> Go now and feed. And don't come back unless you're a fully fledged werewolf. <laughs> a great meal. I'm stuffed. Me too, but I could go for some ice cream. Huh, I wonder if the ice cream bar is still open. What was that? I don't know. Stay close to me. was right here. She said she'd only be a few minutes gathering the last of the pumpkins. <sighs> huh. That's weird. What is it? It's dirt, Grizz. That don't help no one. See, that's where you're wrong. I'm a bear and I have a great sense of smell. And I know that there was something around here. A creature I ain't ever smelt the likes of before. Something old and powerful. All right, quit trying to freak us out. If I wanted to freak you out, I'd jump scare you. Grizz, you know I hate that. All right, that's enough. We need to find where Gwen went and fast. If Grizz is right, that means something took her. So let's get moving and no one goes alone. That was awesome. Nothing like a midnight snack. Wait, it's not midnight. Why is it so dark? Weird. Did the clocks change? Huh. Ah, back 
Spieß. Ugh, those claws. So sharp. Hmm. Need more food. <laughs> hmm. Thought I might find it out here. This must be the wolf that's been preying on people around town. Not a bad sense of smell, but you've hurt a lot of people. Time to put you down. Grr. No, I will feast on you. Bad dog. Meat, only metal. Nah. Uh, that one's gonna take a while to heal. No sign of her here either. Where do you think she could be? I think someone took her. All right, well, we don't know that for sure, so let's not jump to conclusions. That guy back there, he said that he heard something about people getting attacked by a wolf person. You think that Gwen got attacked too? Well, if I know Gwen, she can handle herself. So, I don't think she went missing without some sign of a fight. But, just in case, maybe we should go to the Seven and see if they know anything. I vote werewolves! If I'm right, I get a prize, okay? You get our mom back, if you're lucky. Okay, that's enough of that. Let's get moving. And stay close, you two. Have my fun all the same. <laughs> oh, come on. Nearly 5,000 years after he was bestowed with the almighty powers of ancient gods and imprisoned just as quickly, Black Adam is freed from his earthly tomb, ready to unleash his unique form of justice on this strange world of Fortnite Island. I can't let anyone know who I am just yet. The island isn't ready. Black Adam, I was wondering when you might arrive. The Seven needs you more than ever. Paradigm. I need a disguise. I can't be seen like this. I think I have something in your size. Looks good on you. Thanks. I need to get moving. Wait, before you go, I have a mission ready for you, if you'll take it. I might? It depends what it is. Two of the Seven members are compromised, and one is missing. There's a werewolf curse ravaging the island. Two of our best, Spider-Man and Spider-Gwen. Werewolf? Who started this? I'll give you the coordinates now. But be careful, she only appears at night, along with the rest of them. It'll be done.
There it is. And there's the leader. My children, go forth and feed. And while you're out, pick up Mama something nice. Mm, let's get going. Time to hunt. Let's split up to hunt more. She's sending them out to hunt. Well, if I'm gonna learn to hunt these things, I'd like to see how they do it too. I shouldn't be out this late. One of those things might come after me. I smell prey. You'll be a tasty one. Rah! Stay behind me. Okay. Ugh. More meat on you. You'll do better. That's it? Let's see who's beneath the mask. Ugh. My head. Foundation? You can call me Adam. Black Adam. This is just a disguise. You lifted the curse. Thank you. Hey, I'm okay too. You're welcome. Always happy to help my own and crush anyone who gets in the way of that. Oh, that's pretty cool. Well, I'm sure Paradigm's happy that we've got you. Not as glad as I am that the Seven has you. Uh, am I just gonna be ignored over here? Come on, let's get you back to Paradigm. Ah, okay then. Gwen. Adam, you got her back. That was faster than I expected. I don't like to wait around. Gwen, can you tell us anything about the leader? Her name is DJ Laika. She wants to cover the whole island in darkness to bring about the endless hunt, where there will only be two kind of people, hunter and prey. This isn't good. We need to stop her before she infects anyone else. Boss, if I can, I request that we rescue my daughter, Ella. She's been changed too. I'll save your daughter, Gwen. Really? You would? I will. My powers alone are enough to dispel the curse. With force. Alright then, get to it. Mm -hmm. I need more sleep. Daylight makes me tired. That smell. Eh? You shouldn't have come here. Maybe not at night, but during the day you're weak. Ugh, that hurt! Ah, jeez! Oh, you're a cat person. Yeah, what about it? The ones who imprisoned me. They used to worship cats like gods. You're the embodiment of their patrons. Oh, <laughs> a goddess, you say? Gwen! Who's your friend? This is Adam. He's going to help stop DJ Laika. Impressive. Adam, please let me buy you lunch for lifting the curse from us both. Well, how could I refuse? Hmm. Gwen and Ella are missing. Strange. Hunters, maybe. I have to find my pack. But not before I finish with this one.
There's one out there. Anyone here? Hmm. If there's anyone here, make it known. Hmm. Nothing. What the? Oh, meow. <laughs> I'm so happy to see another person. What the? What are you doing here? We got separated. They got Spidey. I think they're all werewolves now. All right. Don't worry, kid. Come on. Stick with me and you'll be all right. Well, I have to say the island definitely has everything you could want. I'm not sure what gods like you would want, but if you're ever wondering, the pizza is a good place to start. Well, let's give it a try. So where did you come from? I was born in a place called Kandak. There I helped liberate my people after which I was enslaved by the wizard Shazam. If I say the word, Shazam, I can call upon my ancient powers if needed. But didn't you just say it twice? I, I did, but I didn't mean it, so it doesn't count. All right, cool. Ugh, that meat got me, stupid hunters. Mmm, I smell... Gwen. Who is this? A human? And he changed Gwen back? No! I'll punish him. I'll tear him to pieces. No, I will give him to Mother Laika. She'll know what to do. Perhaps she'll turn him too. Yes, more wolves for our pack. That's what she wants. Yes. <sighs> What's going on? They won't stop. How long are they going to chase me around the island? There he is. He won't get away. Adam, come back. We just want to hang out. No way. Black Adam doesn't have time for girly games. I need to lose these girls. He's not going to get away from us. Come on, Adam. We just want to get to know you. Don't play hard to get. I don't want to play anything! Leave me alone! Whoa! He's going towards the speedway. Don't lose him. Come on! Start! Look! Oh no! Oh no! Come on! Come on! Give me a break! Got an idea, and it's a crazy one. Huh? They must have changed their minds. Looks like I'm in the. Uh. Uh, that was rough. Oh no! Adam, why are you running? We won't fight. No! Wait, wait, wait. Don't you want to think about this for a second? You can't both kiss me. Only one of you can be with me, right? You don't want to have to share, do you, ladies? 
guess not. I wanted to see Adam first. You stole my idea. Did not. You did so. Ariana, we agreed we'd both meet Adam together and see who he likes better. Come on. Well, I changed my mind. <laughs> that should buy me some time to get away. <sighs> and another thing. Wait a second. Where did Adam go? Ah, oh, now he's gone. Not if I can help it. Hey! Sorry, snooze you lose. Hey! All right, I think I've lost them. For now. Hmm. What is this? Some kind of stronghold? That's far enough. State your business at Stronghold X. I, uh, didn't realize this belonged to anyone. I'm on the run. Can I stay here for a while? Hmm. What do you think, Domino? I say we take a closer look. See who we're really dealing with. Got it. Oh, well look at you. Black Adam, right? That's right. Two agents of the Seven are after me. They think they can play kiss-chasing with me when they're supposed to be on duty. Oof. Well, I don't blame them for disobeying orders on your account. Huh? You look pretty strong. Strong enough maybe to withstand a kiss from me, maybe? Huh? I don't want to kiss you! Oh, come on now. It won't hurt that much. Tough guy like you. Domino here's been looking for a boyfriend for a while now. Uh-huh, and looks like today's my lucky day. I just remembered. I have a really bad cold. I'm covered in germs. I'm literally a walking petri dish. Well, it's a good thing we're mutants. Human viruses don't affect us. Oh man, I didn't want to have to do this, but... Shazam! Ah! Psylocke, after him! Where are you going? Far away! Oh, rude. He got away. I can see that. Come on! Cal, how many times are you going to ask me out? I've said no to you at least a hundred times. I promise you, Diana, if you just say yes to me, I can make you the happiest woman in the world. Oh god, get up. You're making a scene. Please, Diana Prince, I am just a man. A very, very, very godly man who loves you and wants to be with you and only you. Uh... Cal, I'm afraid I can't accept your offer because... Because what, Diana? Because my boyfriend just arrived. Boyfriend? It can't be. Black Adam. Hmm. The love of my life is with him? <laughs> Diana! Why can't you love me? Gotta find somewhere to hide where these girls can't find me. Hey there. Ah, oh, it's you. Diana, right? That's right. Listen, Adam, I need a favor. Cal won't stop pestering me to marry him or whatever he's trying to do. It's all just white noise now. But can you pretend to be my boyfriend and get rid of him? I'll even give you a kiss. Uh, no! Wow, some boyfriend you are. Oh! I guess it worked. I've got to find somewhere to hide from these women. They won't give me a moment's peace. Everywhere is so open on this island. 
It's almost like some kind of video game battleground. I'm gonna get spotted again if I don't find somewhere to hide. Ah, look who it is. Oh, I knew we'd find him eventually. Oh, no, not again. This is it. I'm done with this. I'm gonna leave this world behind. <gasps> he threw himself over. He's gonna be all right. Come on, we have to find him. I didn't think I'd have to retreat from the world back into a cave. Hmm, this will have to do. I can't go back out there. It's too dangerous for me. I'll have to stay in here in exile. Another thousand years might do it. <sighs> Adam. What the? Ah, no! Ah. So, Black Adam. Why do you want to hunt him so badly? Mm. Because he's taken Gwen and changed her back into a human. She's no longer part of the pack. I need to get to her. Save her from him. Fine. We shred this Black Adam to bits and save Gwen. But I'm doing this for Gwen, not you. Mm. I don't care. You'll do what I say no matter what. <laughs> yes, of course. Get up. We must hunt. Evening, fellas. A little late to be out, don't you think? Me. Iron Man. <laughs> this should be a challenge. Is she here? Yep, she's here all right. Hi. She says hi. Greetings, Spirit Walker. So, have you got anything? I have searched my tomes and grimoires, searching for a way to bring back your beloved. But it's not a power I can possess. I am bound to work with the energies of the Earth, but this magic I do not tamper with. What kind of magic is that? Necromancy. The wicked and unnatural manipulation of the dead. We should not tamper with such things, Peter Parker. So you're telling me there's a way? Of course. However, the cost of raising the dead to live again is great. And use of this magic may come at the cost of your own soul. And there's no way I can convince you to do it for me. Absolutely no way, never. I am sorry, little spider. That's all right. Well, thanks for your help anyway. So, looks like I'm still a ghost for now. Don't worry, Gwen. We'll figure this out. Now we know there's a way. But didn't Hemlock say we shouldn't? I know, but we have to try something.
supervise minors driving vehicles without a license, that's a bad start. Hey, who are you? My name is Jennifer Walters. I'm a social worker. Oh, no. Would I be right in saying that your name is Chris and you're Ella? You were both recently adopted, correct? That's right. So we're just going to do a little assessment of your home life and adopted parents, just to make sure everything is up to standard. Chris, we can't trust these social workers, believe me. They're gonna try and separate us from Spidey. Where are your parents right now? Should we tell her? Guess we have to. Uh, our mom died. She was hit by a car a few days ago. Oh, my goodness, I'm so sorry. And where is your father, Peter Parker? Uh, we ain't so sure. He's been out of the house a lot since Mom died. And so he left his kids alone at home, unsupervised, with access to dangerous vehicles. Well, we've been hearing complaints about two kids in the system who were causing a lot of trouble unsupervised. Well, what are you gonna do? I'm afraid we'll have to bring you to an orphanage where you two can be supervised under proper care until we figure out what to do with Peter Parker. Come with me, children. I guess we better do what she says. What are we doing here? I figure these ancient ruins might have some answers. Hello? Hello, Peter. Thanks for picking up. This is Jennifer Walters from Jolly Green Social Services. We have Grizz and Ella here at the orphanage. What? I'd like you to come in for a meeting, please. Uh, of course. Right away. This is gonna have to wait. Hello, Mr. Parker. Thank you for coming. I must apologize about the circumstances of this meeting. This must be a very hard time for your family. Uh-huh, not like this is helping at all. I've brought the children here because I don't believe they are receiving the care and attention they need. Where have you been the last few days? Don't say necromancy, whatever you do. I've just been dealing with a lot. I needed time. I thought Grizz and Ella would be fine. Well, as their sole remaining guardian, it's your responsibility to make sure they aren't in danger or being neglected. I'm willing to let you continue to care for them, but I need to see a serious change. So, I'll be supervising you all for the next few days. Oh, for crying out loud. All right, that's okay. Thank you, Jennifer. All right, kids. Who wants to have some fun? I can mean it. Yeah. Yay. All right. Go on, Grizz. I got it. Coordinated parenting. Ella, are you okay? I'm fine. Oh, come on, kids. I know you don't feel like it, but if we don't convince this social worker that I'm a good dad, they'll take you away from me. All right, but I hate sports. Not today, you don't. You're doing great, Dad. All right, go team! Interesting. This is pretty nice, huh, kids? Sure. I'm a little old for playgrounds, but whatever keeps us out of the orphanage. Speak for yourself. I'm having a great time. Well, I sure am glad to hear that you're having a great time. Keep it up. I think it's working.
Don't worry, kids. You can have anything you want. And as much as you can eat, too. All right. I want triple chocolate fudge swirls with a caramel bomb and sprinkles. Okay. And you, Ella? I'll have mint chocolate and lots of it. All right. No problem. Hmm. Very generous to the kids. That's good to see. All right, I think my assessment's complete. Okay, and what's the verdict? I do believe after spending time with you all that you could be a great guardian for these children, but I'm going to need to see you more present in their lives. That's all I want. Ask either of them. Tell her that you'll be the best parent in the world. Tell them you love the kids like they're your own. I love those kids like they were my own children. I promise you I'll give them everything and more. All right, I'll believe it when I see it. I'll be checking up on you in a week or two. I expect consistency, Mr. Parker. And you'll have it, I promise. Good, well, then I think we're done here. Does that mean Grizz and Ella can come home? Of course. Well, that was a close one, huh, kids? Yeah, but it was fun to go out and do some normal family stuff for once. Is that what we are, a normal family? Far from it. But I wouldn't change a single thing. Me and Gwen adopted you kids because we love you. And even if Gwen isn't around anymore, I'm gonna work extra hard to love you both twice as much. <laughs> What's the matter? That's the nicest thing anyone's ever said to me. I love you too, Dad. You did good, Pete. <sighs> What's going on? They won't stop. How long are they going to chase me around the island? There he is. Ugh. He won't get away. Adam, come back. We just want to hang out. No way. Black Adam doesn't have time for girly games. I need to lose these girls. Maybe I was just too late. But maybe you slipped away to the other side before I could bring you back. Well, I hope wherever you are, you're happy and safe. Or at peace. Yo, Pete! Huh? Gwen? Hey, what's up? What's up? I was just in the middle of accepting that you're never coming back. Oh, sorry, Pete. I didn't know I was gone that long. You've been missing for days. I thought you passed on to the other side or whatever. Oh, I didn't know. Guess time passes differently when you're a ghost. So get this, I found out that Vader has two kids. Haven't seen the movies, huh? They can use the Force too, Spidey. Maybe they might know how to bring me back to life. Oh, that's right. We should go and find them right away. Sure, I'm not doing anything else. So where to first? Darth Vader, the Rave Cave. That's where we start. Hey fellas, room for one more? Sure. Take a seat. Long time no see, guys. How we doing? Pretty good. Can't complain. I heard your kids arrived on the island, Vader. That must be nice. Oh yeah, we're making up for lost time. They're great. Would you like to see some baby pictures? Uh, no, no, that's all right. Actually, I was wondering if you could help me out with something. Sure, man. What do you need? See, my girlfriend Gwen, she's trapped in the underworld. She's actually right here now. Gwen is... a ghost. Yeah, we're trying to find a way to bring her back. We've tried everything, but not the Force. I see. I am afraid I cannot help you. The ability to save one from death 
is a power my master once possessed. He promised to one day show me this power, but he tricked me, and I sacrificed everything for it. Whoa, that's rough, man. Perhaps my son may know. He's trained with Grand Master Yoda, after all. Or even Leia. She knows of the Force, too. In time, she will become a great Jedi. Wow, that's awesome. Where would I find them? Well, that was helpful. I know. Vader's a good guy. I don't think he wanted to play chess at all. Fascinating. These temples hold so many memories. A strong connection to the Force indeed. Perhaps I could start a new Jedi school here someday. There he is! Okay, be cool. Spider-Man. Hey, uh, sorry to disturb you, Mr. Skywalker. I was just hoping you could help me. Perhaps I can. What do you need? My girlfriend, Gwen. I'm trying to bring her back to life. She's trapped in between this world and the land of the dead. I see. This would require a large concentration of force energy. Is this Gwen? He can see me? I can. My connection to the echoes of the force is strong. It's how my masters trained me long after they died. Huh, cool. They didn't know anything about this, do they? If they do, it wasn't part of my training. Perhaps my sister Leia might know more. Her training has taught her many secrets of the Force. All right, we will. Thanks, Mr. Skywalker. May the Force be with you. Leia's a Jedi? I don't remember that in the movies. There's so much more than just the movies, Gwen. If we bring you back to life, you need to catch up. All right. Sheesh. Sorry, Gwen. I'm just a big fan. I can tell. It's kind of cute. Thank you, Paradigm. If you ever need us, the Rebel Alliance will come. Thank you, Princess. We'll be sure to call you in if we need you. Princess Leia? I was hoping for a moment of your time. Of course. You must be Spider-Man, Hero of the Seven. That's right. I was wondering if you could help me with the Force. Your brother Luke says you might know something about bringing back someone from the dead. Hmm. It's not that simple. Boy, if I had a buck every time I heard that one. There is a way to exchange energy to save a life, but I've never been brought back from the dead. Well, Gwen is right here. Could you try? Hmm. Let me see. It's no use. I can feel her there, but it's not enough. I'm sorry. Really. Oh. Well, that's alright. Thanks for trying anyway. Daughter, take a seat. You're just in time for dinner. We would be pleased if you could join us. The last time you said that, you arrested me and froze Han and Carbonite. Yeah, well, you know how I feel about you having a boyfriend. Han is not my boyfriend. Come on, he's not your boyfriend. He is so your boyfriend. Oh, shut up, you two. I'll deal. So get this. Spider-Man asked me today if I could bring someone back from the dead for him. He asked me too. And me. Poor guy. It must be torture for him to know she's so close, but so far away. You know, together, we could bring her back. How? The dark side of the Force is a pathway to many abilities some consider to be unnatural. At least that's what my master told me. We can't deal with Sith practices. We are Jedi. 
not all of what is taught is evil. Some can be used for good. If Gwen is still hanging on, our combined use of the Force in an ancient ritual practice could send her back here. Do you believe this to be the right way? I don't know. It's worth a shot though, right? Oh, how time has changed you, father. All right, let's do it. I don't know what we're gonna do, Gwen. I don't know how much longer you're gonna be here. But I really have enjoyed having you around a little longer. Good evening. Hey guys, what brings you by? There is something we wish to try. Where's Gwen? Are we sure about this? I am. I suppose so. Is Gwen here? Right here. Please, step inside the circle. Let us begin. Gwen Stacy, beyond the realm of the Force, I bid you now to return. Return to us! Did it work? I think so. Can everyone else see her? Yep. Welcome back, Gwen. Where's Peter? He's upstairs, waiting for you. Hey, Pete! Gwen! You're real! Y you're really real! That's right. I'm back. Isn't like him. He's usually easier to find than this. This is getting weird now. I wonder, could he possibly be with the Herald? Hmm, I better find out. I do appreciate your visits. These new feelings I have it's good to have someone who knows how to help me understand. I'm glad to be able to help. It's good to see how you've changed. What's going on? Peter helping the Herald understand her emotions? I don't like this. So if I tell Miles how I feel about him and don't play games with his head, 
He'll trust me more? Probably. I think he'd appreciate feeling like you really mean it instead of mixed signals. I see. And so if I meet him on genuinely even ground, and I'm honest and open with him, our relationship shall flourish? Funny way of putting it, but sure. Treat him as your equal. It can't be that hard. I see. Thank you, Peter. Your help is invaluable. You're welcome. <laughs> they really think they aren't obvious about this? The Herald must be trying to get closer to Peter, using Miles as an excuse to see him more. Who does she think she is? Why am I bothering to sweep? Where's Harold? Miles, I need to talk to you about something. What is it, Gwen? It's about the Herald. I've been seeing her with someone else. A couple of times today, actually. What? Really? She promised me that she wouldn't do this anymore! I'm sorry you had to find out like this. Where is she? I don't know. Sorry, Miles. <laughs> All right. All right, that'll show the Herald what happens when she tries to take my boyfriend. She had this coming. Where have you been? Miles, what do you mean? You know exactly what I'm talking about, Harold. Don't deny it. You've been spending time with someone else. Spider-Man again, isn't it? It's Peter Parker. I have been spending time with him, but... No, nah, so you admit it. No, no, Miles, I... You're unbelievable, Harold. I can't do this anymore. Miles! Miles! <laughs> and then he said he can't do this anymore and left. I'm really sorry. It sounds like you and Miles have a hard time communicating. Oh, you can say that again. He didn't even give me a chance to explain myself. I tried to do what you said and tell him the truth, but he only heard what he wanted to hear and then he broke up with me. Man, that's rough. I'm so sorry. <sighs> right back to him, huh? I see how it is. Well, I'm not going to let him get away with it this time. Here you two are again. Why am I not surprised? What? Miles, you need to listen to Harold and hear what she has to say. I'm done listening to all your lies. Both of you. You've ruined my life. Again and again. And now I'm going to get some well-deserved payback. Ugh. Miles, you don't understand. I understand enough. Yeah! Peter, run! Get out of here! Get back here! Oh no, this is all my fault. Get back here, Parker! I'm gonna kill you! No! I don't want to be killed! You've got this all wrong, Miles! Go back to Harold! Not till I'm finished with you! Harold. Gwen. Oh, Gwen, it's all gone wrong. Oh, what's the matter? Did Miles find out the truth? What? You think I don't know too. I thought you were supposed to be a wise queen. You didn't know that I'd been spying on you. That I've seen you with Peter. Heard what you talked to him about? I don't understand. You needing Peter to help understand human emotions? No, Gwen, you don't understand. Peter was helping me to be a better girlfriend for Miles. I don't know what I'm doing, clearly. I've messed it all up and now Miles is after Peter. Save it, Harold. I won't believe your lies again. You want Peter for yourself. And all of this stuff with Miles? I know it's just a way of getting closer to him. No. You want him to join you. No. You still want to take over the island. No! Gwen Stacy, I have tried to learn the ways of your pitiful race. I have even suffered the flaws of being a human. But now I see that you are all just a species of insolent children. 
I am a queen, and you are just a bug. I feel a fury inside me awakening. How fitting that it was you, Gwyn, that started it. This world will be mine, and all of you will bow to your queen. What's gotten into him? Why is he coming for me? I need to get him to stop. You're not getting away this time, Parker. You've gone too far. There's no escape, Parker. Miles, don't do this. You need to stop. No, I'm tired of being pulled and pushed around this island. I'm my own man now, and I'm not gonna listen to you, Gwen, Harold, or anyone again. Miles, please, just go back to Harold and talk to her. It's not too late. Maybe it is too late, but I know one thing for sure. It's too late for you. Uh. Got here just in time. Uh huh. I may have started something bad because I didn't have the full picture again. Saw me with Harold trying to help her relationship and thought that she was trying to get close to me. So you told Miles so he would break up with her just to get back at her, and now he's my nemesis again. And Harold wants to destroy the universe. Yeah, something like that. <laughs> just another Thursday, huh, Gwen? Until we can find where Agent Peely is, all other operations have come to a halt. Our blimp has been destroyed, and Peely is missing in action. So I need you two to get out there and do what you do best. Uh... Yes, ma'am. Can I be reassigned? Of course not. You two work better as a team anyway. So get out there and find our agent. Alright, just go and talk to her, man. Don't be a coward. Hey, Gwen. Hey. How you doing? Fine. We're gonna be partnered up. Don't you think we should try and talk to each other just a little bit? Unless it's to do with the mission, I don't want to talk about it. See you at 0800, Spider-Man. Oof, that was cold. Work tonight is gonna suck. Looks like whoever tried to destroy the blimp has put it back together again. Then that means Peely could still be alive and inside there. All right, let's go. Stay sharp. So, how you doing? Not now, Peter. Sorry. So, have you been seeing anyone? It's not your business, Peter. But if you must know, there is someone that I like. What? Someone you like? Peter, focus. We're on point.
Well, well, well. Look who's reluctantly working together again. Gabby, get down and put your hands on your head. I don't think I will. You take the right. I'll... See you later, lovebird. Peely! Peely, it's us! We're gonna get you out! Ah, oh, you guys! I'm so happy to see you! I thought I'd be her prisoner forever. Oh, wait. Where is she? She's escaped. She's crazy, man. She stabbed me! She did? I'm so sorry, Peely. It's okay. The Seven has the blimp back now. But unfortunately, we've lost all our files and intel. Bummer. Well, Gwen, another successful mission. Up top! Gwen, I want to say I'm sorry. Sorry for what? Kissing the Herald? Or Gabby? Or is it the newest on the list, your ex, MJ? I'm sorry for everything. I never wanted to hurt you. And I promise from the bottom of my heart that I never wanted to kiss any single one of those girls. Only you! It was all a setup. A very popular form of setup. I swear. It's all a misunderstanding. I just have one question. What? Were they better kissers than me? What? No, Gwen. They weren't. You're the best kisser ever. <sighs> Even better than MJ? Yeah, of course. Did you just hesitate? No, I didn't. I was put on the spot. I feel under pressure here, Gwen. You sure? Because it looks like you had to think about who's the better kisser. It's you, Gwen. I swear. Yeah? I don't believe you. What? Gwen, I could kiss every girl on this island and I know that you're the best kisser. <sighs> how about we find out how you really feel? You kiss all the girls you cheated on me with and you give me your answer then. Gwen, are you sure? I'm sure. Then we'll get to the bottom of this. And maybe I'll understand why you had to go and kiss them all in the first place. I already told you. Harold, hey. Gwen, you dare step foot in here after the way you ruined my home? You can call us even for all the times you turn me into a chrome puppet. Very well, then. What do you want here? I want to know if you're a better kisser than me. What? That's right. Peter here is going to be the judge, aren't you, Pete? Yes. Why? You kissed him once already. You can do it again. <sighs> I don't see why. Well? You're definitely a better kisser. All right. Hey, you can't just walk into my house, kiss me, and then leave. Gwen, why are you making me do this? Because once you've kissed all the girls you cheated on me with, I want you to decide who you really want. If it's still me, I'll take you back. What? I don't think this is a good idea, Gwen. I already know it's you. There! You want to take me back now? No, you're doing it my way. Oh, what do they want? Hey, MJ. Hey, what's up? Peter can explain it to you. I have to kiss everyone I cheated on Gwen with and then decide who's the best kisser. Well, I see how it is. I suppose I have to. Whoa, I wasn't ready. What? You better not be trying to get another kiss, Peter. No, well, let's just get this over with. And? Sorry, you're still the best kisser. 
I just kind of forgot what was happening for a second. This is all weird. <sighs> Come on, let's go. You're not meant to be enjoying this, Peter. I'm not, I swear. You sure? Kissing a bunch of girls doesn't phase you, huh? No, that's not what I meant. Come on, Gwen. Gwen, you're not gonna make me kiss Gabby, are you? Well, you wanna do this right, don't you? None of this feels right. Besides, she's not gonna do it. She's just gonna throw bombs at us again and run off. I don't think so. Go on, go to her. Okay, but Gwen, you know I never kissed them on purpose, right? You have to believe me. And now you're kissing them to get back with me. You do still want to get back with me, right? Or maybe you'd rather be with someone else. No, only you. What is this? You've been following me? Well, yes, but I need a moment of your time. For what? For this. Gah! What do you think you're doing? Kissing you. Why? To get back at Gwen. Oh, why didn't you say so? She bought it. So she really does just hate me. Yeah. So, now it's my turn. So, who's the best kisser? Um... Peter! You're supposed to say me! I'm the best! Ugh! I'm sorry. I'm just kind of lightheaded after dealing with Gabby. Why? You think she's a better kisser, don't you? No, not at all. I... Dude! Uh-huh. We know, Grizz. I know it's not as fun when Peter isn't around, but I promise you kids I'm gonna be mom and dad for you too. You know, we're old enough that we don't need you to treat us like kids anymore. You think? Well, I sure am. Maybe we can still be friends even if you and Peter aren't our parents no more. Oh, Ella, I'll always be your friend. I'm sorry I can't exactly be a good mom right now, but I promise I can be your bestest friend. You know there's a rave on tonight. Maybe you might want to come with me and we can party. Oh, that sounds like fun. Okay, why not? Let's do it. You're the only reason. Yes, you're the only reason. Baby, you're the answer to my prayers. Feeling like the world is in our hands. Wow, this seems like fun. Oh yeah, and look, Venom's DJing. Nice, I like him. Venom's a great DJ, let's dance. Hmm, the crowd is loving our set. We are the greatest DJ ever. Hey Venom, great job tonight. Ella, glad you could make it. Who is this? This is Gwen. Hi, I really liked your music. Oh, well, thank you. We always like to meet fans. We are Venom. Nice to meet you. So what are you doing right now, Venom? You gonna stick around and party? Oh, we were thinking about getting food. Oh, maybe we could join you? Actually, Gwen, I want to head back home. I'm tired now. Oh, okay, Ella. Well, I'll see you back at home then. Oh, you're not coming with me? I won't be out late. Don't wait up. Oh, okay then. So, you want to get out of here? Yeah, okay. This is good pizza. 
You've got quite the appetite there, Venom. We are always hungry. Food is good, and when we can't get enough, we get angry. Oh, me too. Believe me. So tell me more about you, Venom. What exactly are you? We are a symbiote. And our host is Eddie Brock. A total loser and mediocre journalist. But he is our friend. And is Eddie here right now? Is he listening? Not if we don't want him to. Eddie is a lazy bum most of the time. He likes sleeping. So we take over control. Impressive. Well, I have to say, it's been great getting to hang out with you, Venom. Would you like us to walk you home? No, that's okay. Maybe some other time. It was nice meeting you, Venom. You too! Gwen Stacy. She's super pretty and cute. And she came to our show. We like Gwen a lot. Venom isn't going to be lonely after all. Those music lessons have finally paid off. All right, I'm back to work in a few days. I need to brush up on my briefings. The good news is, is that I won't be working with Spider-Man again. Yes, this is where she works. We were right after all. I have so much work to do. Hey, Gwen. Oh, Venom, you startled me. Sorry. We just wanted to come by where you work and say hello. We've been thinking about you a lot since last night. Oh, you have? Uh, Venom, look, I'm actually a little busy right now. Can Venom help with something? No, that's all right. Listen, last night was fun, but I'm sorry if I gave you the wrong idea. Me and my boyfriend just broke up. I need a little more time before I go rushing into anything. Sorry, Venom. So... You don't want to see me? It's just not a good time. You're a nice guy and everything, it's just... I'm not really dating right now. Sorry. See you around, Venom. But... We thought she likes us. She... Doesn't? Wait, no! She said not right now. So we must use our patience. Boy. I hope I don't run into Venom again. Guy is a little more intense than I was expecting. There she is. We must have given her enough time by now. It's been almost a full day. Hello, Gwen. Venom, you're here. Yes. We thought very long and very hard about what you said. It hurt our head for hours. But eventually, when we stopped screaming, we realized you just needed to get over your boyfriend. So we did just that. And now we want to know, will you be our boyfriend? Venom, that's oddly adorable. But I really meant that I need more time. Huh? And I don't know how long it would be until I know I've had enough time. Do you get what I'm saying? <sighs> I'm saying maybe you should look for love somewhere else, Venom. Because Gwen doesn't want to be with anyone right now. We see. We get it. We aren't stupid. I know you're not. And you're a really nice guy and a great DJ. I'm just not looking for anything. Sorry, Venom. <sighs> Venom! What are you doing? <sighs> that was stupid. Now she thinks we're a desperate loser. We want to be with her. Hey, where you been? Sorry I haven't been around, Ella. Work stuff has me tied up. Oh, alright. 
For a minute there, I thought you were spending time with Venom. Venom? No way. He's kind of a creep. What? At first, I thought he was sweet and cute, but I told him I'm not interested and then he started following me. Then I told him again I'm not looking for anything. He tried to kiss me anyway. If you see him again, tell him to leave me alone. Oh, jeez. I will for sure. Sorry, Gwen. I didn't know he'd be weird. It's all good. I gotta go get some groceries. I'll be back in a little while. Just gonna pick up stuff for dinner and head straight home. No interruptions or uninvited attention from guys. feeling I feel fine happy to see you come on Gwen we're going to be late for our date coming The last thing I remember is driving with Venom, and then Carnage. <laughs> That's right. You belong to us now. And as soon as we've dealt with that pest Venom, your symbiote will be mine. And what about me? What's going to happen when you take the symbiote away? Well, once our symbiote and yours merge, we are going to need something to eat. Aren't we? <laughs> I have to find a way to get out of here. So, as soon as he wakes up, we find out what happened to Gwen. I'm not waiting around for answers. Huh? Hey, where's Gwen? Huh? What did you do with her? Leave me alone, man. <sighs> hey! Ah, we lost him! You really need to get better at this part of the job. Come on, we have to find him. Let us back in. We need the body. I've been trapped in here for who knows how long. Uh, it's so good to breathe fresh air again. Forget about it. We are taking control. Ah, that's better. Now, where is Carnage? Carnage must have taken her. Hmm. We've got a scent. We're coming for you, Gwen. won't get away from me this time. Gwen? Gwen, are you here? Yeah. Carnage. Where is Gwen? 
You are so close, Venom, but you will not live long enough to save her. You will not find her. She is mine. The symbiote will be mine. Nah, you dare. Stay dead this time. Big red loser. Venom. Gwen. You saved me. Of course we did. No one else could. They are not smart enough to know how to find carnage. Thank you, Venom. So Eddie Brock is Venom. What's he got to do with Gwen? I'm not sure. I have a feeling that maybe he's been involved with Gwen after dark somehow. How did you figure that one out, Sherlock? Well, have you seen Gwen after dark in the last few weeks? No. Well, what if Venom was trying to make her like him somehow, but knew that he could only do it at night so that no one would find out? Why would Venom do that? Dude, Venom is an alien parasite. It needs a host to survive. Oh, that's not good. Hey, turn off here. Why? I smell smoke. What happened here? I'm not sure. A big fight by the looks of things. What was that? Miles, get out. Now. Huh? Get out! Dude, what was that? Parker! That was bad. Very bad. wait with you until morning. But by morning I'll have my human consciousness back. Gwen without the symbiote doesn't know any of this has happened. Yes, we know. Without the symbiote, without these memories, I'll never be able to accept you. We know. It's safer this way. Venom, no! You can't do this! We must. It's the only way to protect you. We've put you in danger for too long. to make a confession. For the last few weeks, after nightfall, you have transformed into a symbiote, and we have been together. We have fallen in love with you. What? No, no, no. This isn't possible. I can almost feel it in my head. Strange dreams. Or are they memories? They are memories. All of it is real. It's all the time we have been together makes sense now. All of it. I can feel it all connecting in my head. I think in some way I always knew it was real. But Venom, you lied to me. We know. We should have told you. The real you, how we felt. That's the thing, Venom. It's always been the real me. I just didn't make the connection until now. You lied, Venom. You used the symbiote to control my mind. Only at first. But then after a while, you started to like being a symbiote. I... did. Honestly, I feel amazing when I'm a symbiote. But it doesn't change the fact that I didn't agree to any of this. I need you to leave, Venom, and don't ever come back. Gwen, we are sorry. I know. That's why this is so difficult. Please just leave.
What in the pine cone? Huh, someone in there? Hello? Someone in here? All right, you two. You've got some explaining to do. What's the matter, boss? What's the matter? You two have been struggling lately. You can say that again. Your mission reports are awful, barely filled in. And what little that is there states that you both are experiencing difficulty communicating and conflicts of interest on missions. Do I need to remind you two how to follow orders? Paradigm, me and Gwen are having a hard time working together lately. Things are a little complicated in our personal lives. I don't care. You both have a duty to uphold. Figure out whatever feud this is, and don't bring it to work. You're soldiers of the Seven, not teenagers. Dismissed. Can't believe we have to keep working together. Don't complain to me, I don't want to hear it. I have to put up with enough of your complaints when we're on missions. My complaints? Like what? Oh Gwen, this is so hard. I can't believe we're being tortured like this. Or what about, I can't work with you like this. I can't stop thinking about how much I love you. Hey, that's not fair. I told you that you never listened to me and you threw it in my face. You shouldn't have enjoyed kissing all those other girls then. You made me do it. Yeah, well, you made me make you do it. So there. Ugh, you're such a big baby, Gwen. Yeah, well, look who's talking. You better find somewhere else to live soon, Peter. You can't keep sleeping in the spare bedroom. It's stressing out the kids. Don't bring them into this, Gwen. I'll be back later. Don't wait up for me. I'm going out, too. Don't be home late. The kids are on their own. You don't be out late. Hmm, <laughs> stupid Gwen. Stupid Peter. Hello? Anyone home? Gwen? Spidey? Ella? Ella! What are you doing to the house? What does it look like I'm doing? I'm bored, genius. You can't do that. Gwen and Spidey will be mad with us. What do they care? They're busy running around the island acting like bigger kids than us. Yeah, they haven't been spending much time with us lately. You know what's going on, right? I have some kind of idea. Yeah? What do you know? I know that Gwen and Spidey aren't friends anymore. Oh, Chris. More than that, they aren't together no more. What? They broke up? And I thought they were just fighting each other. No, Gwen's got a new boyfriend and everything. What? No, that's not true. I don't believe you. Well, it's true, Grizz. They split up. Now they're too busy fighting with each other to remember us. Then we gotta look after ourselves now, Ella. We can't go back into the orphanage. No way. Uh, I'm stressing out. Give me that thing. Uh, <laughs> that's better. This is fun, Luke. I haven't hung out at the arcade in so long. This would be my first time. It's a nice change of pace from being a member of the Seven, I'm sure. Ugh, don't remind me of the Seven. Work is a pain lately. Oh, really? Why? I have to work with Spider-Man all the time. My boss keeps pairing us up together. Oh. That must be difficult. I wonder if there is a way I could help. Oh, believe me, you don't want to get involved. Peter is becoming a pain in the neck lately, and it's affecting our mission success. Not to mention our home life being dreadful. The kids must think no one cares about them. Maybe I can talk to him. No, don't. That's only going to make things worse. If you say so. It's fine. I'm sure this problem's gonna fix itself in time. Hmm, that doesn't often happen. But if you're sure, I won't argue.
Just out of curiosity, if I told you I could make Spider-Man a little more cooperative, would you let me? Please don't use the force on him. It makes him super cranky when we have to go out on missions together. All right, fair enough. When's your next mission? Tomorrow morning, actually. Ugh, I can't wait. Well, don't let me keep you out all night. This is a welcome distraction. I don't want to go yet. All right, if you say so. I'm folding. So soon? Me too. Ugh, it's late. I think I'm gonna head home. Work tomorrow. Oh yeah, same. Is there really nothing you can do about me and Gwen having to work together? I'm afraid that's not my department, man. You gotta talk to Paradigm about that. Good night, guys. Well, I better get going too. Don't you want to stay a little while longer? Well, I guess I do. I'm not looking forward to my mission in the morning. You're working with Gwen again in the morning? Unfortunately. You've just been arguing so much lately, it's hard to focus on the mission. Well, sounds like you two had a lot of issues. It's probably for the best that you and her aren't together anymore. Yeah, maybe. I never wanted any of this. But I guess Gwen didn't want to listen to me. Why don't you stay out with me for a while? You can vent to me. We're friends, right, Peter? Yeah, of course we are, MJ. Ugh, oh, wonderful. Hello? Gwen? Peter, where are the kids? I thought they were here. Are they not? No, I can't hear them. And there's no sign of them. Oh boy. Grizz? Ella! Grizz! Heck? What happened? Looks like the kids got bored. Who taught them to do this? Oh, I have no idea. Ugh, Gwen, our kids are missing and we both have a mission first thing in the morning. You think I don't know what? That's not helping. Well, they could be anywhere. So we need to get out there and find them right away. You try calling Ella. I'm gonna go start searching around the house. Telling me what to do. Ella! Grizz! Where are you kids? Inspector Noir, what happened? Nothing that can't be cleaned up, but your two kids have been caught vandalizing public property, and a lot of it. I have them in the back of the car. Chris, Ella, what do you two have to say for yourselves? Go inside, kids. We need to talk to Inspector Noir. They were unsupervised all day. What's going on? Me and Gwen are sort of separated. Not sort of, Peter. We're done. I don't care what you two are. I don't want to arrest those kids again. Figure out what to do with them, or I'm sending a social worker down here. Yes, sir. You got it. All right, then. Don't let this happen again. This is not my fault. Well, it's not my fault. Good morning, agents of the Seven. We've got work this morning that will be a cash delivery to the bank. 
one of Midas's associates has been stupid enough to take the task of intercepting this truck and stealing the cash. In about five minutes from now, you will see the delivery arrive. The rest is up to you. Oh, and in case there's any conflict of interest, I'm going to make this very simple for you both. Apprehend and arrest the thief. That's it. Don't mess this up, agents. Paradigm out. Well, you heard her. Uh-huh. Simple mission. Let's get this over with. We gotta wait for the truck! I'm getting into position. Chill out. He's arrived. We need to watch out for the thief. When he arrives, we should give him a moment. Let him think he's gonna get away with it. Be quiet! You be quiet. I'm just trying to figure out a tactic here. I don't need you mansplaining this to me. I know what to do. But we need to work together, Gwen. There's no I in team. Oh, where'd you learn that one, Captain America? <laughs> Peter, just be quiet and wait for the dude to get here. We just have to jump down and say stop, thief, or anything else. And then he'll try to run, and then we just shoot him with webs and it's done. Then we can go home and get on with our lives. Gah, I need to find a new place to live. Peter, focus! Oh, Gwen, I can't believe we're over. <laughs> oh, please, not this again. <laughs> Perfect. Midas is gonna be impressed. Peter, please don't. I... I thought you loved me, Gwen. Oh, jeez. What the... Peter, the thief! Huh? Oh no, we're too late! Ah! Ah! Huh? Witnesses? This breakup sucks. Would one of you care to explain what happened back there? Gwen wasn't watching while the thief robbed the cash. Only because I was trying to get you to stop crying. I've been emotionally fragile, okay? That's enough. You both failed the mission because you couldn't put your own personal differences aside and do your duty. Not to mention, your comms were on the entire time. Oh boy. Wait, you heard us? Unfortunately, I did. I understand now that you two can't be trusted to work together. You're both on a week's suspension. What? I'm giving you time to figure out your lives. Report back to me when you're ready for solo missions. You're both dismissed. I'm not the reason we got suspended. You're always so hostile with me when we're working. I was just trying to do my job. You're not getting paid to interrogate me on my personal life, Peter. Yeah, well, maybe if you communicate with me more, I wouldn't have to do it at work. You don't need to know what I'm doing when I'm not at work. Well, it would be good to know if someone is going to be available for the kids. Don't you think it'd be nice if someone would look after them? Instead of them getting arrested all the time. That was not my fault. Well, it wasn't mine. That's it? Bella, let's get out of here. Where are you going? Anywhere else. This house is a prison. See what you did? Now the kids have run off again. I can't do this anymore, Gwen. I'm finding my own place to live. You should probably do the same. I tried my best. It didn't have to be like this, Gwen.
All right, Riot. You can have burritos, but I'm going to need to call your dad to pick them up, all right? I want them now! Oh, jeez. Come on, Venom, pick up already. What's more important than helping to raise your own son? Good job on the track tonight. Your driving lessons are coming along well. Thank you. I try to do good. And you've been doing great. Is that your phone? Oh, must be. Venom, where are you? We're at the drive-thru. We had lunch with Camille. Oh, nice of you to mention. Well, while you and her are driving around together, you've got a son back here who won't settle down until you bring home Mexican food. Can we hang out a little longer? Why don't you make him something in the meantime? Venom, I have no kitchen. Riot threw a tantrum and wrecked the place. All right, fine. We're on our way. Are we in trouble? No, no. You're not in trouble, Camille. Don't worry. But we do have to go to Gwen. You take the truck back to the cave. Are you sure? Don't worry. We trust you. You do? Okay. Don't want to go home. At least we get burritos. We just won Mexican! We have arrived! Father, you bring burrito? Indeed we did, son. Go into the dining room and wait. Okay. Thank you, Venom. What's the matter with you? Nothing. Venom, come on. Out with it. You were mean to us on the phone. I was mean to you? Yes, you were. We were having a nice time with Camille and you were mean. That's not nice. Venom, you have a son here who I need help with. Riot needs both of us to raise him. Just this morning, he set the bathtub on fire. Whoa, that's impressive. No, Venom, not impressive. Expensive and unnecessary. I need you to help me with Riot more. He's too destructive for me alone. Hmm, we were trying, Gwen. We just brought dinner home. Isn't that good enough? No, it's not. And if you'd spend more time with us instead of Camille, you'd know that. Leave Camille out of this. We aren't arguing with you anymore. Where are you going? Somewhere we don't get screamed at. Ugh. It's okay. I can do it. <laughs> Okay, Riot. Mom's gonna go out for a little while. I won't be long. Okay. I have to go find Venom and get him to come back. I need his help. He spends all his time with Camille and has forgotten about us. That's carnage. I better stay away. On second thought... Hmm, we smell something. Oh, what's this? Ah, you do not have the symbiote. Where is it? Venom, he took it back, and I want to make him pay. Ah, and how would you wish to do this? All I need to do is spend more time with you. The enemy of my enemy is my friend. Perhaps we can join forces. 
Learn together how to get back at him. Why would you do this? Do you not love Venom? Will you help me or not? <laughs> we shall see. We shouldn't have walked off like that. That was not mature. Riot? What's going on? We tried to do it, but everything went wrong. It's all right, Riot. It's over now. I'm sorry, Dad. I'm trying to be better. It's okay, son. It's not your fault. Where is your mom? What's going on in here? Gwen! You left Riot alone! He could have burned the house down! You left first! You should learn to be more responsible! We came back, didn't we? Huh? You still left! We didn't want to fight in front of Riot and set a bad example. You say we're a bad parent, but you're the one attacking me in front of him. Where are you going? Somewhere else. Don't let Riot start any more fires. Carnage, I found a way to get back at Venom. Oh, have you now? Gwen? Gwen? Where are you? What? You really think kissing will destroy Venom? Ah! Gwen! What do you think you're doing with that red loser? I... I don't know. I don't know why I did that. I panicked. You... like carnage? No, no, I don't! I just wanted to get back at you for spending so much time with Camille. I got jealous. I wanted to make you jealous too. <laughs> we see. All right? Uh, that's a complicated question. Venom, I... <gasps> oh! <gasps> you... You kissed Camille? Sorry, Quinn. I panicked. I... Can't believe you. Hmm. Uh-oh. Camille... Are you okay? Venom! I... I can't believe you did that! I've liked you for a while now. I imagined us having our first kiss, but not like this! Camille, I'm sorry! <laughs> oh man, what have we done? Alright. Looking good. I hope Gwen doesn't mind me dropping by. Ah! Gwen? Are you home? What the? That was a big rat! Miles? What are you doing here? Hey Gwen, look. I came by earlier to see if you were home, but when I looked in the house I saw a rat as big as a person inside. Ah, that sounds terrible. I didn't want to just walk into the house while you were away. You want me to take care of it for you? No, 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 that's okay. I'll deal with it myself. Are you sure? That thing was huge. Like, huge! I can handle it, Miles. Thanks for your concern, though. Okay, well, you want me to back you up here? That rat could have rabies or the Black Plague or something. Did I mention it was huge? Miles, I get it, big rat. I'd like to go inside my house now. Okay, okay. Sorry, Gwen. Be careful! Good night, Miles. Man, she is fearless.
think it's almost feeding time. Don't you mean dinner? The way Riot eats? Feeding time is putting it lightly. He does need to work on his manners. Where has Riot gone? He's right. Was right there. Riot! He's in the kitchen. Whoa! That's a big fire! <laughs> Riot! Come here! We can't put this out! Get out of the house! Now! hated that house. I'm sorry, Mom. It's all right, Riot. It was an accident. I'm not crying about the house, Mom. I ruined dinner. Oh, no. He's right. Oh, now what do we do? <laughs> <sighs> we'll have to find a new house. We gotta go to the real estate agents. But first, let's get that dinner situation under control. You need to buy a new house, huh? Hmm, well, the island has seen quite the influx of arrivals lately. Really? I feel like we haven't seen anyone new for a long time. Uh-huh, I don't have much to offer you. But if you're interested, there are a few places left to rent. And they're going cheap. We would like to see these cheap houses before we sign up for anything. By all means, I'll give you the directions now. Peely for real right now? This house is completely covered in chrome. It's cold under our feet. Venom, don't step in that. It's already too late. Hmm, let's have a look inside at least. Oh, it's all over my shoes. Ah, what is that smell? There is no smell. It's clean. All of it. Totally chrome. But it's creepy and lifeless. Venom, this place is terrible. We can't live here, and we definitely can't bring Riot here. Hmm. All right, fine. I don't mind it, you know. We are not moving in here. Haley wasn't kidding. The choices are slim and dreadful. Let's go to the next place. Haley says it's near a fast food restaurant. trashed. It's only a couple of windows. We can replace them. Besides, it's the inside that counts. It's the inside that I'm worried about, Venom. Look at the state of this place. We can't stay here. What's the matter with a little DIY, huh? We can turn this place into a palace. A little bit of paint, a few nails here and there. Venom, you just want to be close to the fast food place, don't you? What? Oh, sorry, we were thinking about something tasty. There's got to be a house left on the market that isn't completely trashed or covered in chrome. I'm calling Peely. Come on, man. You've got to have something. We've got a kid to bring up. All those places we went to were bad and smelled funny. All right, all right. There's one place left. Where is it, Peely? It's in the forest. Lovely shrouded area. Very private and surrounded by nature. Oh, that sounds lovely. Well, we shall go and see this picturesque getaway for ourselves. We will see it alone and save Gwen the upset when it turns out to be a dive. And for your sake, it better not be. Okay. I hope you like it. Huh, not so bad. We kinda like it. That was convenient. Ah, uh, now.
now that's a pungent odor. It adds character to the place. Hmm. Must be these old floorboards. Hello? Are you viewing the place too? This is my house. Oh, good. How much is the rent? Your soul. Whoa, no deal, lady. Knew it was too good to be true. These darn landlords always undercutting us renters. So, we have no home. Nope. What are we gonna do? No idea. Healy has nothing left. Then we're just gonna have to wait here until he does. I smell burning. Where's Riot? We'll put it out. That's it. Hello? Peely speaking. Peely, I need you to tell me what else you have available right now. Don't hold out on me. I know you've got something better than what you showed us. I can't help you. I'm sorry. We're currently squatting in your office. If you want me to put out the fire that my son just caused here, then you better help me out, Peely. All right, all right. I have one more place left, but that's it. That's really it. Where is it? Hmm. Hmm. Doesn't look so bad. Close to running water, too, if Riot tries to burn it down. Mm-hmm. And it's big. Shall we make sure it's not haunted, chrome, or derelict? Let's. Oh, wow. It's pretty amazing, right, Venom? Yes. Definitely needs to be riot-proof, though. That's not so bad. Better than replacing everything, including the windows. It's pretty great. It's definitely what we're looking for. Okay, thank goodness. Swing by the office and we'll get everything signed off. Well, folks, I'm glad we finally come to a decision. This was the only house that shouldn't be demolished. And I'm glad you decided to take it. We can move in tonight. As soon as you sign right here. Wow, I like this place. Welcome to your new home. Can we live here? Uh-huh. This is our house. But Riot, you need to promise us that you definitely won't set fire to anything. For babysitting, Ella. Don't mention it, Gwen. I got this. You got this, Ella. Miles? Miles, I can see you. No, you can't. Dang it. What do you want, Miles? I just want to talk, Gwen. I have questions. I've got time for a couple. 
I just want to know why you and Venom are a thing. When we didn't officially break up. Because we never officially were anything in the first place. I see. I didn't know you felt like that, Gwen. You and me went on a couple of dates. And then you basically took that as us being married. And then you started stalking me at my home during the night around the island. But every time I tried to talk about it, you'd just freak out and get all possessive of me. Possessive? That's right. Let me just set the record straight, Miles. You're not my boyfriend. Venom is. Now please stop sneaking around my house or my son might eat you. Uh, Venom has gotten into her head. He must have. Gwen's not herself. I can't stay away. She clearly needs me. I need to get her to leave Venom. Somehow. Morning, Gwen. Morning. What's on the agenda today? Nothing. All's quiet. Oh, great. That means... That's right. Paperwork. Oh, I hate doing this kind of work. It's so boring. I don't remember what happens on missions. It's all a blur. Well, we could talk. Yeah? About what? I don't know. Maybe we can make some plans and talk about us. Uh, I'd rather not, Pete. Is there something wrong? Do we need to talk somewhere else? There is no we right now, Pete. I appreciate that you're in my life, but we're not a thing. We can't be right now. Oh, Gwen, I'm sorry, I didn't... It's fine. Ugh, I need some air. Good idea. I need my own air, Pete. Oh, gotcha. Ugh, not good. Gwen's over me. What should I do? Jeez, Gwen. Sounds like they don't give you a moment's peace. How did you get all your lines crossed like this? I have no idea. It's like some evil mastermind is putting all these boys in my life just to mess with me. Like I'm the main character in the pages of some screenplay of emotional torture. I can sure feel like that. So what are you going to do about it? I wish I could just have some time to myself. I have every spider person and symbiote variant that the island has to offer hounding me everywhere I go. At first, being so popular felt exciting, but now it's just annoying and exhausting. <laughs> Greetings, Gwen. Carnage, what do you want? We know that you and Venom are having troubles with that new symbiote baby and all. That can cause a lot of stress and strain on any relationship. We just want you to know that you ever need someone to talk to, we're always here. <laughs> Carnage, I already told you I'm not interested. I don't care for these gestures. And stop assuming things about me and Venom. I'm so tired of telling everyone to stop making up theories about my relationship. Oh, we only wanted to... I don't care. Leave me alone, Carnage. Hmm. Shut down. I oh, will have to try again tomorrow, then. You better not, Carnage. Yikes. Every where I go. You should tell him to leave you alone, or you'll call the cops. I don't want to have to do that. They're not all bad guys. I feel bad. Gwen, you said it yourself. It's happening everywhere you go. You're gonna need to do something about it, or you'll never get your life back. You said that Venom and your kid are your main priority, right? Right. So tell them that, or get the cops involved. Mom? Who's that? Are you kidding me? Gwen! 
I was just passing by. I promise I wasn't stalking you. Saw you hiding behind something while staring this way. Kinda seems like you were stalking, just a little bit. Listen, I saw you with that thing, and I just wanted to make sure you were okay. That thing is my son. Oh, yeah, I know, but he's not really, is he? Riot needs a mother to raise him. I am that mother. I don't see what you're getting at, Miles. Well, just that he's not a human. Neither are we. We're spider people. Mom? Who is that? Can I eat him? Oh yeah, you sure can, Riot. Go right ahead. Yay! <laughs> Right, Riot, let him go. Aww. I've got to get rid of them tonight. All of them. And this time they are going to have to take no for an answer. Carnage should still be out roaming the woods. He's been asking me out on hikes with him around here for weeks. <laughs> this is terrible. We need something real to eat. Well, well. Gwen! We're surprised to see you here. You've come to accept our offer? No, I'm going to make this short and sweet. Tonight we say goodbye for the last time, Carnage. What? That's right. I don't want you to contact me anymore. And if you do, I'm calling the cops. But, but... This is goodbye forever. So it is then. It is what it is. Gwen? What are you doing here? Don't get your hopes up, Miles. There's one thing I'm here to do. What? I don't want you to see me anymore. I'm sorry things didn't go how you planned, but this is goodbye. Don't contact me anymore, Miles, or I'll call the cops. Quinn, no, you don't mean that. I really do, Miles. I need my own life back. I don't understand. We work together, Gwen. We're in the Seven. We're Spidey and Gwen. We're not, though. Not anymore. Things have changed, Pete. We can't deny that anymore. I think you need to move on from me. I... I don't know if I can, Gwen. You're a hero. Do what you do best and be brave. Is this what you want, Gwen? It is. Venom, me, and our son, Riot. We need time to be a family. So, this is goodbye, huh? It is. Harder than I expected. You're doing the right thing. That means a lot, Pete. Hey, you're just in time. Movie's about to start. Hey, I've had a long day. I think I might just go to bed. Are you sure? Are you feeling all right? You know, I changed my mind. Let's watch that movie. 